Hey, good morning everyone and welcome to the 2022 Banjo-Kazooie Charity Marathon. This is benefiting Wigs for Kids. I'm going to play the entire game 100% and at the end I'm going to be cutting my hair. It's wet right now, but it should dry out over the next, you know, 8 to 12 hours. It'll take me to do this. Uh, I know the estimate on how long to beat is like 14, but I've played this game a bunch of times, so I'm not going to be as much like trying to find where stuff is. I'm just going to be going through everything that I remember. And then, you know, I might have to look up a walkthrough towards the end, but we're going as long as we can. I am committing $1.00 per hour it takes me, and any time I get a game over, I'm gonna double that. I also have, uh, some kazoos here. So, I'm gonna be doing some kazoo songs and things throughout the stream, and if you donate $25 or more, you can request a kazoo song, just to ask in chat first, because I don't have time to look up any song, so it's gotta be one that I already know. Um, and if you do 50 or more, you get a print of this lovely, lovely thumbnail, you know, without the pink text here, just this uh, background, you can get a print of that. Uh, only for the first 50 people, unfortunately, because it's going to have to come out of pocket, because this is for charity. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. If you go to the link on screen here, tiltify.com slash kid slash bk dash hair dash a dash thon, or click the link here in the chat, that I've set up. There we go. Uh, then, yeah, you can get those kids some wigs. So, we're gonna start in just a minute. I just remembered I gotta, gotta text someone the link. They specifically requested it. So, give me just a second. I just got up like an hour ago, so hopefully, I can get a decent, uh, decent pace going. Correct messes up a URL. There we go. Ah, shoot, I forgot to copy and paste. I kind of overestimated how much time I had to set up. set up my iPad so that I could see when donations come in. So apologies for that, but I will set it up on the first break, which will be at about 10 a.m. All right, and we are going with the Game Boy file. I, whoop, can we skip? We can, okay, cool. I love the intro and everything, but we're on a time crunch here. Hey, bottles. All right. And we're gonna speed through the dialogue as much as we can. <laughs> Do -do -do. Yep, we got it. You guys had a whole cutscene. We don't need. <laughs> we don't need this. Ah, oh, back in the day, you know. I mean, it's a cute story, so I don't really mind that much. But like, 
that's a lot. Um, okay, make sure I don't hit the wrong button here. We're going with B. All right, I am still gonna go through all the little tutorial areas because they have empty honeycombs and we'll need that for the 100%, but yeah, I don't wanna waste time going through the actual tutorials. Just make sure, yep, okay. And we're up. All right, first item got. Watch out, watch out. There's onion. I believe the other X, uh, empty honeycomb. Yeah, there it is. I played the, this first, the first few areas when this came out on Switch Online. I mean, I've played through the game so many times, so there's these first areas are gonna be extra fresh for me. Um, I might have some trouble in the later ones just because as a kid I never got through it, so I don't remember as much. Uh, well, it would have been good to get that extra light, but it's not necessary for the 100%, so let's just keep moving. Then, let's just grab this, since we're right here. Oops. I do like these swimming controls, but they're still, as with a lot of 3D platforming swimming controls, not great. Flying controls I really despise, but, you know, that's pretty much any 3D platformer has pretty bad flight controls. The best, I think, was uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, which sucks because the swimming controls there are just to get from, you know, one rhythm game section to another, so it's not even that important, but it's, uh, whoop. it's, um, it's very smooth, feels great. All right. Got everything out here. So now we're heading into Spiral Mountain. How long did that take? About three minutes. Making great time. And in fact, I think I do it just right. Whoop. Yeah, a little skip. I'm not exactly a speedrunner, but I do know a couple of tiny speedrun strats here and there. There's one in uh, Rusty Bucket Bay that's gonna really help out, so. Get ready for that one. I'm hoping it's still here on this version. I, I think it will be. There's not really any reason it wouldn't. All right, just checking my stats. In fact, let me just scoot my warp ball over here. Doesn't need to be in the way. Here we go, the second of like four cutscenes in the whole game. I always found that as a kid, I was just like, you get this and then none for like the rest of the game. Unless you get a game over, so I was like, man, I wish they'd check back in with them. Especially because it seems like imminent when this is going on, but I don't know, I guess they're taking their time. Right. Then we got our first Jiggy over here. Da, 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 da. Here we go. All right. a kazoo song all you gotta do is donate at least $25 at the links of course I'll probably just be kazooing in general because usually I'm humming and all a kazoo is is just like uh, you just hum so anytime I'm humming I can just use the kazoo instead 
All right, Mumbo's Mountain is open. My guess, I can probably get Mumbo's Mountain in like 15 minutes. Yeah, this one, like, I can crank through Mumbo's Mountain real quick. All right, let's swing over here. Grab your Jinjo. There's the blue one over there. Now, the big hurdle here is gonna be that um, the note scores, whoops. Whoops. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. That was fine. I remember not being able to get up unless you jump from the bridge, but I guess it's fine now. But yeah, the note scores are basically, there wasn't enough memory to actually remember how many notes you had gotten, so it will reset in each level, but just kind of remember the number. So, if you can't get all 100 notes before you die, then you have to get all of them again. So... Yeah, one of my goals in each level is going to be to get all of the notes ASAP to avoid that. I keep forgetting to use the... In fact, let me, uh... Hold on. Let me... Yeah, switch that to the paddle underneath. That'll be a little more comfortable. Mm. All right. Get our first couple jiggies right over here. Alright. Just need the orange. Give it to Chimpy. Yep, yep. <laughs> it's tacked all the dialogue. Because I did it faster than it expected me to. All right, second jiggy, let's go. Oh. Yep, I got it, I got it. Thankfully the dialogue gets uh, less obnoxious later on because a lot of the early ones are just trying to make it easy for the kids. Get a yank. Right. Let's let's do it. All right. I always forget you should like loop up to Mumbo to get the ground pound first, but oh well, should be fine. Right, and then we gotta kind of move away. Whoops. Oof. You can kind of get it between the oranges if you time it just right, but it's all right. I got him. All right, there we go. And then the grunty switch is right up there, so gotta go get the ground pound. And on the way, I will get the Talon Trot. Oh yeah, before I forget, you gotta get these switches as well. And there we go. All right, yeah, that's three jiggies right there. Good start. That'll take four minutes. Oof. The fixed camera areas are a bit obnoxious. Cause you gotta, you gotta get kind of turned around to uh, get out of it. Yeah, and then the easiest jiggy in the game. Just sitting right there. Let's 
key. It's also, in Banjo-Tooie, it's like you have to get a certain amount of notes first for him to teach you stuff, but in this, it's just, uh, just get to the place. Yes. I remember the mapping for the uh, Switch Online version here. Because it's got two of the C buttons mapped. Um, the face buttons and then all of them mapped to the uh, right stick. I almost said C stick. Which is, that's GameCube. Which is weird. I never really played much GameCube. I don't know why my brain would default to that. Uh, well, since I have the time to now, let's go scoop up all this stuff. Oh, right, that's what the notes are for. Then this one is the note doors. Yeah, instead of that, they did the moves. So you had to find the move and have enough notes, which was pretty annoying, especially in like Jolly Rogers Lagoon, where it's like, I don't know where half of the stuff is already. I get so lost in that level. But hey, one of the, uh,. One of the possible goals. I mean, I'm not expecting this to be too huge because it's my first charity stream, but, uh, you know, one of the possible goals for the stream is to make my next marathon stream a Banjo Tui 100%, which is like 24 hours estimated. So, you know, again, probably a little faster because I, I know some of the levels pretty decently, but. Ooh, we're gonna have to get Canary Mary. And anybody who's played it knows just how ridiculous the Final Canary Mary race is. Alright. Let me do it. Let me do it. Alright. It's weird that they, they have bottles teach you stuff at the beginning and then they're like, and you gotta wait to get the other stuff. I guess it is so that they can kind of portion out the different mechanics over the first few levels, but... Um... Yeah. After a little while, it doesn't even matter. There we go. go. Get some water. All right, let's keep moving. All right. Now this is a tricky bit. Because if you mess this up, and I would say this is probably one of the most unfair things in this game. Because if you get all these guys, which it certainly incentivizes you to get every last one, then you miss out on that empty honeycomb. And you can't really see it any earlier. So yeah, a lot of people in their first playthrough miss it. But I didn't, because I knew about it. So, we're still cranking along. Alright, then actually let's go hit that grunty switch before we forget. Gonna use Talentrot as much as I can here. Because it is way faster. And the question is always like, why would you use the regular walk once you got Talentrot? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I mean, I guess fatigue, because you're. You gotta hold down the. Uh, trigger the whole time. The ZL button. Which I love that on the Switch, that they just split up uh, the Z button into the ZL and ZR button. I think it's very cute. Alright. 
Now let's go to uh, the other side here. Get everything on this clip side. Don't have to even worry about that bowl. Doesn't even come into play here. I don't think the, the uh, mumbo tokens actually matter in terms of 100%, but, like, I will need them for the transformations, so... Just gonna get as many as I can. Uh, okay, that's what I thought. There's a, uh, Jiggy here that you can't get as the termite, I don't think. So I wanted to make sure I get it right there. Ten. There are ten more notes, which are, I believe, all in the termite hill. So let's go get mumbo fied. Nope. Oh. Right, there's four of them in here, and then six in the uh, termite hill. Yep, let's do it. Oh, I'm missing a token? Right, the last one's in the termite hill. Ah! I gotta backtrack. Je suis boo le fool. I don't need those eggs. Okay, so it might take me a little past the 15 minute estimate because I forgot you gotta get the last mumbo token in the uh, in the termite hill, which is also clever because it connects the two areas. All right, you can't just hop up. I believe there's a speed run strat where like based on where your shadow falls, you can like get up even without the termite, but I'm not. I don't care. I'm just gonna just gonna get the termite. It'll be faster than all of the fails I'd get trying to do that. Alright. Let's do it! Termite time. I flip that hood up. I keep forgetting that um that hoodie hood on my chair. If I, if I sit with my back against it for too long, it like kind of throws my back out. Getting older. It's ridiculous. It's unfortunate. All right. Uh, these jumps can be a little tricky. Nope. Yeah. They, they, they're pretty far apart. So you gotta make sure to land them at exactly the right time. Ah! No thanks. Oh, move, move. Oh, move! Get out of the way! Ah! This is the most annoying part of the termite hill. Waiting for the termites to move. Oh, and you get a one up for the. I forgot about that. Hmm. I don't know I rarely even notice the lives. Because as an adult, any game that has lives ends up being, like, not really that difficult. All, but, like, yeah, a quick luck would, I think, will rack up the deaths. Because every time you fall off the likelihood of it knocking out all of your health. Ah! Ah! Come on! Come on! Got it! Alright, I don't need egg. There we go. One up right here, so why wouldn't you get it? Then we get the Jiggy. And a lovely view of the whole level. 
And then Hemite doesn't have fall damage, so we'll just do that. And there is a, an empty honeycomb right in here. It means Mumbo's Mountain. 100%. 14 minutes, 37 seconds. So my estimate was correct. Now we're going to head out, get that jiggy from the outside of the level, and keep going. Yep, it's, it's Grunty's magic. It's not, you know, memory limitations. Sure, bud. All right. And then, yeah, we can just leave and Mumble will be like, it's not gonna work. It's wearing off. Well. Now we have the Talon Trot, so we can just zip right up here. And let's, uh, get this while we can. Whoops. Yep, no door. Only need 50. I got 100. So I'm good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, I know. Got plenty. Oh, okay, never mind. There we go. <laughs> Don't want to cough straight into the mic. And then we're gonna swing down here to activate the cauldron. Which is not gonna be useful for quite a bit, but... Don't, don't... Don't uh, disparage the, the cauldrons. They can be very useful later on. Especially if we're 100%ing. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come back and do all of her because to do it, all you gotta do is write down what she says. It is, I believe, randomized by file, so I am going to have to go and do it. Either that, or I'm just gonna have to. Whoops. Uh, see? What do you say? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, Treasure Trove Cove. One of my least favorite, if just because it's got a lot of flying. Because obviously it's the one that has flying to begin with, but you know. The flying is a bit difficult. My next least favorite is Gobi's Desert because of similar reasons, honestly. All right. Now let's just swing right through. I don't think there's anything out here. There might be like a Mumbo token, but there is no Mumbo in Treasure Trove Cove, so it doesn't matter. And then I think... Yeah, I always think there should be something back here, but there never... there is not. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Get these four. And then to get the Jinjo, the easiest way is to jump up here and swim down. So that Snacker doesn't get you. No, he's still got it a little bit. That's all right. It happens. All right, and then we'll go and get this one. This feller. The first, well, I guess Konga also counts, but this is the first real boss fight, I'd say. Mm, nah, I'll count Konga. The boss fights in the next game are just much more substantial. 
There we go. You gotta be really fast on that last one. Because he will move very quickly. Let's get that mumbo token. He's not even deep enough for Snacker to pop up. And we swing right in here. Ooh, it's got that lovely Grant Kirkhope atmospheric music. He, he did this great thing of like making a version of all of the tracks. This like very relaxed marimba. This area is annoying because of both of these crabs really take up space. Oh, have I really not gotten honey yet? Weird. I guess I just haven't needed to. Okay. Let's keep moving. is going to be kind of a bit of moving around for this bit. Or, ooh, actually, I got Captain Blubber. Who we're going to ignore for a second. Get these notes. Whoops. Do I even need to talk to him to get the gold? I think it's, it doesn't matter. All right, learn the flight pad. I'd like to take this time to remind everybody that we are benefiting Wigs for Kids. Wigs for Kids is a nonprofit that provides wigs to children and teens that have lost their hair due to medical or other reasons. It is at no cost to the uh, families. And yeah, if you can donate your hair, you know, it just needs to be at least 12 inches long. Uh, generally, they recommend 14 inches or longer. And if you can, monetary donations are also very, very much appreciated because the hair really only covers a, a tiny portion of the actual cost of the service, but they, they're they a great charity and I, I hope you all will donate. You can donate at the link on screen right over, whoop, right over here, or you can go to the link in chat there and uh, if you don't see the link, then just hit uh, exclamation point donate and the, the chat bot will give you a link. So I hope, I hope you all will donate. There's a few incentives, you know, on stream thanks if you do at least five bucks. Uh, a kazoo song request for 25, just, you know, check in chat first that I know the song. And uh, for $50 or more, the first 50 people who do that will get a print of the lovely thumbnail here, minus the pink text on top. So, I hope y'all will donate, and yeah, let's see what's, what we get. There's also quite a few goals that I have set up. You can see all of those on the Tiltify page, so go check those out if you're interested. And our goal is just a thousand dollars. It's the first charity stream, so I'm hoping to get you know as much as I can, obviously. But I'm I'm keeping my expectations realistic. You know, it's first charity stream. I plan to do quite a few more, but as it stands right now, you know, I'm just doing as much as I can. And hey, at the end of the stream, I'm gonna donate my own hair. So at the very least, I got. I got that to give. Been growing my hair out for about seven years. I think it topped out around uh, year three or four. So after this, I'm going to cut my hair and uh, I'm going to just start growing it out again. You know, then in another three or so years, I'll do another Marathon stream, but I'm gonna do at least one charity stream a year, maybe even more, because I do marathon streams last Saturday of every month, so may as well do them for a good cause if I can. We gotta get these notes. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. All right. 
Yeah, these ones are kind of awkward to get, because uh, each leaf is its own little platform. Ooh, that was close. You want to be careful, because uh, unlike the next game, you can't actually grab onto stuff. Like the ledges, you can't grab the ledges. All right. That's great to know, Bottles. But we are actually not going to do that quite yet. Oh, and I forgot to get the Jinjo. And I think there was a Mumbo token over there. You know what? It's fine, though. We're going to get through these first three pretty easily. It's, uh... Yeah, it's it's four and onward that I start to get a little iffy on. But it should be, it should be fine. My main goal is just to not die, because if I, if I die, I lose all the notes, and I'll have to do a lot of repeated work, and that's no fun for anybody. Nope. Uh, there it is. Great. Thanks for that. Now go in and do one of the most obvious puzzles ever. You can tell it's a super easy puzzle because they have a time limit. Okay, it is over here, right? Yeah. I always remember that one being like tucked, tucked away so that it's hard to get at. And I appreciate the little cheat sheet because this was meant for kids, so. You know, they probably. They might not necessarily have, like, the box there. Um, they might be able to read it on the cartridge, depending on where they had their Nintendo 64 set up. And then. What? I always found it interesting that that's the only super strong crab in this level. I would have been interested to see more of them. Oh, well. Alright. Let's keep going. Doing a pretty good pace. If I can get... Um... Yeah, if I can get the rest of Treasure Trove Cove in, uh... In this, in this hour before the break. Sorry, I'm still waking up. This is much earlier than I would normally stream, but you know, if this is gonna take me up to probably 12 hours, like, I want to be, want to make sure that I get started early enough. Okay, let's go do the ginger and such. I believe I need to get that Mumbo token. Oh, on this side. What is this called? The Salty Hippo. It's good to pay attention to the world. Oh, I did get the Mumbo token. Okay. Because this game ends with a big ol' quiz. And a Jinjo. Let me out, let me out. Here we go. Alright, the flying is really the bane of my existence as far as this game goes. Ah, dip. Well, that's fine. I just need to be on the platform. Whoops. Did that in the wrong order. Come on, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, there we go. Whoa! I mean, I was gonna have to anyway, so... You can outpace Snacker as long as you, uh... As long as you do this bit. But, uh... It's a bit tricky. So, I wouldn't recommend it generally. 
sure it's a jiggy but yeah this part I always forget about because as a kid I never found it the parts that I'm best at are like Mumbo's Mountain because I played Mumbo's Mountain a million times as a kid because anytime I got stuck I just like restart my file that's how I was as a kid I was just like nope I'll do the part that I know really well so that I can feel accomplished oops get out of here, get out of here snacker Alright. Ah! Alright, as long as you stay close to the edge, he doesn't actually activate. You can hear by the, you know, by the, uh, legally distinct Jaws music whether or not he's coming for you. Get enough feathers for right now. Alright. Time it out, correct? Oh, no, this one's just feathers. One of them has notes, so I have to get that one. This one, this one has notes. Sure, I got them all. Whoop, watch out for that guy. Steal your stuff. I think there's something. Yeah, there's a one up right. Well, I'll ignore it. I don't actually need it. Whoops. Sorry, my brain is kind of wired now for modern games where, uh, where B is usually jump. Um, and even the layout is not the same it would have been on N64. The A is way over to the side. Crap! Little flutter jumps keep you, keep you alive, but, uh, yeah. It can be a little tricky. Oh yes, this little mission. Well, let's, let's get it. Now we're looking for the next X. There it is. Can I get, can I get that orange ginger out without stopping my flying? Nope. I'll be back for you, buddy. Oh, there we go. Next one's over there. I keep thinking something is like cooking in my house, but that's because I have a, I was uh, using like a blueberry pound cake uh, scented candle. So I'm just smelling the, the remnants of that from yesterday. Just like, what is some going on with my computer, with my light? No, it's just smell like candy. All right, let's get a little higher up. Uh, well, sure, I could have grabbed that mumbo token. It's fine, I gotta go through there eventually anyways for the uh, their Jinju. No, where do we? Where do we get? Oh, I guess that's where we get. It wasn't a very long mystery. Crap. The hitboxes on these guys are a little funky. Let's get that. Yeah. Take him out. There we go. 
Mumbo. <laughs> then oh, there is a Mumbo token over there. Okay. I remember it being something being tucked over there, but I couldn't remember if it was worth it. There we go. Maxed out on health. All right, now let's do the shock jumps because they're right here. 15 more minutes. I can certainly... What am I even at here? I think we're doing quite well. Yeah! Need 30 more of those. I need both empty honeycombs. I don't quite remember. My main thing is going to be... Um, if I miss anything early on, because I gotta get all hundred notes on every level. Like, you know, because you've gotta do that in one shot, anyways. Um, but. Uh, the other stuff, I will. I will. I mean, is optional for now, and I'll swing back around and scoop up any, like, empty honeycombs and such on a second pass after I get too grunty. The hope is that that won't take too long, but, you know, who knows. I think my estimate of 8 to 12 hours is pretty generous, frankly. Whoop. Scenes come on, but now it's gone. Oh, wait. wait. No. I will probably sneeze at some point on this stream. I have, I have allergies. Speaking of which, I forgot to take a phone ace. Hold on. Alright, there we go. I don't actually take it from my nose so much as I do for my ears, because my ears get stuffed up really easy. So, Monies seems to uh, clear that up quite well. I'd love to see a sort of Summoning Salt style video uh, talking about how, how Snacker works, because he's clearly got like specific spawn points, but I, I have no clue where they're at. Oops. Just get close to the edge. What do you got? Ooh, two mumbo tokens. Gumbo. Very full boy. Gumbo, gum. Yeah, there's no mumbo on this world, which, you know, a little disappointing, but it's fine. Uh, but getting the tokens now will make things a lot easier for later. It's mine. She's tried to eat me. The way he comes out, you just hop, hop. It's concerning. Oh, no! Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's just a uh, one up. Get him. Oh, come on. A little closer. There we go. Yeah, the crabs are one of my least favorite enemies just because gotta like ground pound them or hit them twice and their their hitbox is weird okay and uh hmm yeah let's just get this real quick even think I need to actually. What do you got? Oh, eggs? I don't need eggs. Alright, let's swing back up here and get that Jinjo. One of the unfortunate things about Banjo Kazooie is the names of a lot of the creatures are uh, not problematic, but they sound kind of like slurs. So. It's a little, uh, a little, a little uncomfortable. But not much we can do about it now, you know? It was the 90s, you know? 
I feel like if you go to a lot of different kids' media from the 80s and 90s and earlier, you know, you'll, you'll find quite a few situations like that. Ooh, ooh, careful. Uh, no, nope, that's where the little scavenger hunt situation was. I think I already went to this, yes. Okay, I got that Jinjo. Um, there's an empty honeycomb over here, I think. I think the reason I didn't get it before is because it didn't spawn in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure on that far crate, there's one. It'll spawn in now. No? Huh. Really? There's not. Yeah, I don't know where the empty honeycombs are on this one. That's alright. We can, uh, come back around. The empty honeycombs tend to be the ones that are, like, the most difficult to find. Because there's usually only one or two. And they'll be, uh, in very weird places. There might also be, a. Uh, a random ledge that has some stuff on it. There's the yellow Jinjo. Want to be careful because while falling is not a total death sentence, it is very annoying. Ah, the tree! The tree is gone. Disappeared. All right. Okay. Don't need egg. This guy wants egg. None for you. All right, and then. Or actually, is this like a shortcut or is this like? Little side thing, I can't remember. Yeah, it's just a shortcut. Yeah, it's nice. It's not, you know, really that necessary. Ooh, there's notes! And then that'll pew! There it goes. I think there's notes at the very top of this, too, so... Ooh, and a mumbo to You get a lot of mumbo tokens early on. Yeah, there's all the notes. And that's the last jiggy, pretty sure. Okay, what are our totals? Yeah, neither empty honeycomb. I got a little time <laughs> before break. So I'm gonna do a quick sweep. Wreck, wreck my memory if I can recall where the uh, empty honeycombs are at. I feel like... Probably one on the water somewhere, and there's probably one in like a random ledge or cliff or something. Because you know, water is part of this level, and the light is a new mechanic. And they love to use new mechanics when they can. So let's let's just have a quick fly around. That's the other thing is that it's like um it's like really tight the camera on the flying. Like I can't I can't zoom out at all, which would be great because I'm trying to survey stuff and I can't can't really see. That looked like it might have been it. <laughs> I 
Uh, Grunty's in the game. Grunty's in the chat. I can't. I can't take all this abuse from every angle. It's too much. Nah, it's fine. I'll persevere. Uh, da -da. Yeah, you can't control the camera really at all. While flying. It's annoying. Um, is there an empty honeycomb on Sharkbait Island? That sounds like it might be the case. Sorry, Shark Food Island. Uh, it, it, no, no. Oh, that's the edge. That is the edge. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember where any of the empty honeycombs are for some reason. Oh. No, that's where the yellow ginger was. Did I not? Is there somewhere I didn't go? This was around there. I have no reason to. Where else? Where else could it be? Really? Realistically? Come on now. Come on. Ah, there's one. No. Snacker, no. Ah, let me out. Let me out. All right. There's one. And I don't... Yeah, I really can't remember where the other one is. Probably have to look it up at some point, but for now got everything else, and I'm gonna have to do a sweep back anyways, because there's always gonna be one or two empty honeycombs I miss throughout the game. I don't know, I just, I got time before break, so I'm like, I should at least try and find them. Where could it be? Where what haven't I gone? Something over here with the spring jump, maybe? Or around here, perhaps. Did all that. Where else? Where else? Thanks for coming in the chat, by the way, Grunty the Hag. I appreciate you coming by, you know, as much as you are antagonizing. Um, we are raising money for Wigs for Kids, and I'm gonna actually cut my hair to donate to Wigs for Kids at the end of the stream. So if you could find it in your cold, cold witch heart to donate, I'm sure those kids would really, really like it. We gotta get those kids some wigs. other area I feel like would have even room for one. <laughs> ah! No! No! <laughs> even now as an adult, he's still so scared. Could be on here? He just didn't spawn it? No? Hmm. Um... Yeah, I just don't remember. That's fine. I am gonna swing back through to get all of the last things, you know, at the end of the stream, so this is just gonna be on the to-do list. Unless... Can I... Nope. That was worth a shot. But yeah, let me just double check. Yeah, all the jiggies. All the notes. That's all I really need. For now, because those... The, the, the jiggies I'll need to progress, and the notes... Well, I'll also need to progress, but they'll also reset if I don't get them, so... It's important to get. Alright. That's it for Treasure Trove Cove for now. But let's get the jiggy out here real quick. Ah! Go up the crab. Do, do. 
And we're up. Nice. Oops, it's going a little fast. As usually, my problem with music is I'll rush. I'll, be, I'll rush the actual uh, uh, beat. I think there's a cauldron up in here, so I will activate that real quick before swinging, swinging around to, uh, uh, change your fate. no, wait, wait, that's not, no, 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 the spot I was thinking of is down below. It's a little odd. It's another magic cauldron. We gotta sneak and boke him. And we're going. I frankly don't even use the magic cauldrons that much. Like, they can be useful if you remember to use them, but, uh, I don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, I always forget, but, yeah. What you gonna do? Okay. And then here we go. What's the... No. There's like a specific button, right? What is it? R? No. C, A? And I'll just... If you want to place all... Okay. Into the picture, just press Z. Okay. I was, but it didn't do it. Oh, well. Nice. Clanker's Cavern is open. So with that, I'm going to take my first break, stretch my legs, get hydrated. I encourage y'all to do the same. And hey, if you'd be so kind, check out the Tiltify link, which is on the screen. And now it will be right here. And take the time to donate. Let's get those kids some wigs. I'll be RB in just a minute. Okay? Okay. BRB. Ah! <laughs> 
Alright, I am back, and looks like Grunty has even more abuse for me. Golden feathers, you may have 20, but bruises, you'll still get plenty. <laughs> ah, yes. One thing that I always found kind of charming about Grunty's rhymes is that they rhyme, but you can tell whoever was writing them did not really understand meter. And, uh, yeah, it seems... It seems that, uh, that has stayed true with uh, Grunty the Hague here, but I, I appreciate you being here. Your hate only motivates me further. Get those kids some wigs. Ah. And I'll save my sister. That's, that's probably all so cool. Keep rushing, because as soon as I start doing it, I can't hear the music uh, underneath, so I keep being like, I think this is the, the correct tempo. This was not the correct tempo. 
It's my problem, man. I gotta, gotta practice music a little more. I play piano, like, almost every day. You know, for at least a few minutes, so... I'm, I'm doing better at that, but it's also like I'm using a... I'm using an app that lays it out like Guitar Hero, so... You kind of just have to line it up with what they're telling you and follow that. Versus, like, building up your own internal tempo. Uh, hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. Crept down here to help me defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson! Yeah, you hear that? Mm -hmm. Know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. As we would like to hear them. My filthy bed gives me a rash. I never wash, I save my cash. Gross. Um. Yeah, yeah, no, we're good. yeah, we're gonna go through at the end and get all those because they're a bit time consuming, but they are randomized, so I will have to. Uh, let me check if there's anything in the water here. Nope, okay. What I appreciate about Banjo Kazooie as a collectathon is that it's it's real clean, you know? Like, it, it's very compartmentalized in how the collectibles work. And uh, so, like, everything's, like, lined up in neat little lines. Banjo Tooie has a bit more of a problem because it's way more open, and while there's like super fascinating ideas, like how you can move but from one world into another world, which yeah, I love that. Um, it ends up not working as well because it's just so scattershot. Everything's all over the place, so it's really difficult to follow any kind of logic. It doesn't have that satisfaction factor that Banjo Kazooie has. But you know what, I still love it. Banjo Tooie, I always say I prefer if just because, like, that was the one where I was like, oh my god, look at all these new ideas. You got boots. They'll let you climb the wall. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, this one. This is one I also am not a huge fan of. Just because it's a lot of swimming. They always, you always gonna have a swimming water level and all that, but I just, ugh, I find swimming to be very stressful because, I mean, you can just drown. Drowning is, you know, no fun. Ask anyone who has. Well, you can't, because they died from a lack of a good time and oxygen. Whoops. Ah, oh, that's so brutal. You get hit down for one, and then you you get another one when you land. Okay. Thankfully, the timing is not that difficult. Mumbo. Little e kamboka. E kamboka. If you haven't, I'd recommend watching too many snacks cartoons of the, uh, forget her name, the, like, dog VTuber. Her, uh, playthrough of this, because it's, it's just very cute. And very funny. Oh, I guess this is how I was supposed to get over here. Well, I did it in a better way. Take that, designers of Banjo-Kazooie. If you're in chat, you're not in chat. You know that for a fact. Uh, it doesn't matter. Not really. Just double checking if there's anything interesting around this. Nope. Okay. So let's get a good lung full. And we're gonna swing back down over over here. Da, 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 da. Come on. Come on. Whoop. Hey. It's Clanker. He looks scary, but he's a nice boy. He 
this good boy calls his mother. He's just doing his best in a world that is built against him. All right, and the first thing you gotta do is go down and let him out. Oh, uh, yep, this is, this is the part that I'm usually most frustrated by in an, the early parts of the playthrough, because uh, it's very easy to drown on Clanker. And drowning means you lose all your notes. Come on, yeah, get through the key. And then we gotta turn around. Turn around. And that'll do it for him. Now, oh, nope. The bubble! Ah, I wanted that. Well, good for you, Clanker. You're free! Clanker, you're free! I need gloop. I need gloop! Gloop! There he is. Hey, buddy. Okay. Now we gotta get these notes. Nope. Nope. <sighs> yes. Yes, good. Yeah, these are just. <laughs> keep missing. Ow. Yep, now we gotta get a glue bubble. Whoops. First person view is not super useful in this one. Just, I keep trying to do it all sneaky like. I gotta just do it clean. Oh, gotta get gloop again. No. Uh oh. I missed the bubble. I missed the bubble. Okay, okay there's another one coming up. Can't see it. Can't see it. Ah, I missed it. No. No. Ah. Ah. Ah, I missed it. Ah, this is like my least favorite part of this game. Chasing the glue bubbles. There we go. Okay. Let's just let's just walk walk around him for a minute. Okay, full up. And we just gotta methodically get all this. Try not to get too far away from Bloop. Bloop, I mean. Uh, oh, jeez, yeah, that's what I'm saying, is, like, I can get the first two pretty quick, but then, like, this segment alone makes this third one real annoying. All the other parts of this aren't too bad, but... Yeah, it's this, which is, like, effectively the first part of the level that they encourage you to do. Okay, I think that's all of them. Now, just gotta get some more bubble and swing on up. Okay, it's so nerve-wracking. Okay, we're good. Let's get out of here. Whoops. Uh-oh. Don't get caught on the chain. Like, there's a lot more swimming to do, but... That's the last one where you gotta use Gloop. Ah, <sighs> okay. Now let's do all the outside clinker stuff first. Yeah, see... That already took me 20 minutes. 
just on that first little bit. A bit absurd, but you know, that's just how it goes. Oh, snippy mutant, shall we? Charge is ours, fight! Fight us, you must! I shan't. Okay, well. If you insist. I don't want to, but uh. If you insist. Go. Here we go. Oh, oh. There's another one. Yeah. Oh, another one. Oh, I missed him. Feels very mean, but you gotta do it. Beating snipping you and so we yours is prize. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Don't let the fall of flower pots in the game. Oh, we'll see. There's gotta be like a secret underneath, right? Right? Ah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I forgot to refill my water. Dip dang Daru. Ah, oh, it's alright. Alright, let's uh swing up. And yeah, let's just get all the swimming stuff out of the way now. Cause it's annoying. goes like this little trill. That's nice. Alright, now we gotta get into these pipes. For some notes. Oh, oh. Oh, crap, I can't see anything. Oh no, oh, this is a bad start. Got him. Let's get that one and that one. All right. Then I'm not gonna get greedy. Just swing up for air. We're gonna go back down. That was the other thing Banjo Kazooie was always great about is color coding. How that pipe has the green. So you know that it's different from the other one, which had, like, just beige. Can't remember which pipes actually have anything of interest, but... It's worth checking them all out. I think that was it. I think it's just the one with the notes. There's also one hanging down into the water. Yeah, there. I'll, I'll come back in for it. But, yeah, I remember last time... I streamed this. I was missing this empty honeycomb on this stage. I had to swing back around for it. It's a bit obnoxious. Alright, that's how I got in. So I want to go through here. For an 
Ikambokum. Ikambokum. There it was. All right. Now, ah, the camera's stuck there. Now let's get some air. That was one thing I appreciate about Donkey Kong 64, was that you didn't do that. The Kongs can just breathe forever, I guess. They have gills or something. I don't know. But, yeah, you could just swim as long as you wanted. But of course, I'd played Banjo-Kazooie, so I was like still really terrified of the water. Even though Donkey Kong was a very different game. Uh-oh. Stuck. Stuck. No. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, that was scary. What is going on with the camera? Are we good? Um, what is... Oh. Uh-oh. Camera is very stuck. That's not good. Okay. What was that? Hold on. I gotta put a stream marker. That was... I've never seen that before. Uh, whoops. Where's my Twitch app? There's my Twitch app. Goodness gracious. Oh, come on. It's telling me to update the app. I don't have time right now. I just want to drop a marker. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, why did I let myself get so low on air? Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. I almost killed myself doing that. Oh, boy. I'm doing quite poor in this playthrough, I guess. Lift me up, friend. Hey, what the... Oh, dip. I sworn I did the peck correct. Nope. Come on. Lift me up. What the... I hit the peck button. Alright, I gotta play it. A little safer on this one, I guess. That specific one is uh, a bit of a pill. Alright, uh, let's go to this pipe first. And we're gonna go up. Get us some is there anything in that song? Just... Oof. Playing a little fast and loose with the uh, health, I guess. And there's a pipe over here. sure the last one is inside clanker that's a little annoying let me up let me up okay he does not respond Time. 
Ah, oh, jeez, I don't want to have to swing all the way back, but for the sake of not... Yeah, for the sake of not having to restart this level, let's, uh, let's swing back and get some health. Very safe. I don't want to lose. I do not want to lose that. Oh, hey! Right, the honeycombs don't despawn in this game. Very generous. Alright, I gotta get over there. Alright. Gotta go all the way around to it. Or no, I don't. I can go across this. Okay. Okay. Whoop. There we go. Alright. No, 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 no. Ah, dip. Well, it's fine. They won't despawn. Just wasting time is the big thing. Let's keep it moving. Come on, come on. Gentle, gentle. Jump! Okay. All set. Back over to Clanker. Just cannot do that bit with the unlocking again. That was just, oh my gosh. It was just, it took so long. Do not want to do it again. Again, my brain keeps saying like, hit B, B is jump. B is not jump less. Or right, no, it's his teeth. I'm pretty sure it's the, the turtle in a Boba Bloop Swamp. That's the one who gets the schnoz. And... Can I see, please? Get it. Yeah, much slower progression on this level. But after you get the couple of troublemakers, it ain't so bad. Ah, there was one right there. It dang Daru. Well, it's fine. It's quite all right. Anything over there? Nope. Whoop. There it is. Going around. Going around and around. Oh, as well. Oh, right. Yeah, Max is out at nine, but I think it still records how many you have? I'm not certain on that one. Whoop. Not yet. There it is. I'm gonna ride this. Ugh, I don't like how it how it undulates. It disturbs me. Alright, no, 
now some very careful walking. Take my steps slowly. It's falling. I mean, it's not going to hurt because it's over water, but it's going to waste time. I don't want that. Bam! Nice. All right. I believe that's everything outside of Clanker, so let's bust open some teams. I have an idea. Um, uh, let's. No, I can't. It's a little frustrating because every time I try and hit up, I keep accidentally hitting to the side a little bit on the stick. That makes aiming a little tricky. There we go. <laughs> All right. That's one side. Come on. There we go. Fix up that tooth. Ah, this tooth now hurt now. Teeth all butter now. Thank you, bear. You're welcome. Ah, dip. It's fine. It's fine. Just gotta not forget that it's there. Everyone knows I'm anything but forgetful. Why I can't even remember to forget. Oops. Okay. And this, this little trick, this little path is not too hard. If I remember it correct. And then we gotta get out and go to that one. It's a bit tricky because you don't get a lot of distance on that flip flap jump. And these two. And that little one. Many seconds to spare. Yeah. Whoops. There we go. Such a creative idea, you know? Being inside of a giant like shark for the for the for the level here. Very clever. Also, that was a flight pad. What do I need a flight pad for? Oh. Um, I suppose that doesn't matter as much. Yeah, it's the fact that you can only control when you go up that makes flying in this a bit obnoxious. Like, I'd like to be able to neatly control every direction if I could. But I can't. Is this not how it works? Alright. I remember seeing in a speed run, if you time it perfect, you can just walk through. But uh I'm not gonna I can mess around with that. Oh, thanks. 
All right. See okay, now it's do 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 do. Oops. No, it's do 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 do. Still banging and clanging up. Yeah, you can see there's like a perfect little gap there. There we go. Made it right through. No prob. No prob at all. Let's swing down here now. Twisting. Oh god. I'm twisting. Alright. There we go. And that's right, that's out of his gill. And I want to go in his other gill. Those notes. Another way in. Pretty sure you can go into the gill, right? Yeah. Oh, this is not where I thought it was. Ah, there's the last Jinjo. Get out of here, dude. Oop. Well, let's get out. Come on. Up, up, up. Oh, it is where I thought it was, okay. Looks a little menacing in that lighting. And there we go. All right, now let's go get that cheeky off of the tooth. is not great. I do not remember the last chicky in here. Huh. Oh. Oh, I'm six notes shy. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I can't come back to it then. It must be outside somewhere. Or is there like another little secret spot in here that I forgot about? I guess I missed one of the uh, the portals or whatever. The ports. How? Um, that one. There's the mutants. That one, I'm pretty sure, is just a Jinjo. Pretty sure I got that one. I think it's just a Mumbo token. token is over here. Okay. And then that's how I get into this area. Some over there. What is that?
think that's actually the Jinjo. Right? Or it was the Jiggy, but... Yeah, hmm. Guess it's one of these? No, that was the Jinjo. Right? Yeah, hmm. There, huh? Unless it's up higher. I missed an area up there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did this one. This one was a, a jiggy. Hmm. What? What am I missing? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's, let's go methodical on this. Look all around. Okay, I couldn't remember if I'd gotten him. This is where the empty honeycomb was. This bit was super annoying. I definitely remember getting it. be the solution. Let's, let's check it out. Whoops. Oh. Oh, so close. I think I've been on this pipe. Oh, I guess I have. Hmm. Last one I'm missing. Uh, better view from up here, I guess. I've done all that. Got that. Get this. Here. Oh, wait, drop through the blowhole, I guess? Yeah, here it is, okay. Yeah, get a goofy eyes. 
and this is just timing. Cool! Okay, I think I 100%ed that then. Got all the jiggies for sure. Yes. Okay, it took me 40 minutes, but that's okay. They're gonna get progressively longer because the levels themselves are just more complicated. Yeah, let's get out of here. Then I got 10 minutes, so yeah, let's go. Let's go get over to Bubble Goop. Bubble Gloop Swamp, at least. Get that. That a uh, lair jiggy. Get it, we're getting it. Two hours, already got the first three of eight done. Eight? Or is there ten? I think there's only eight, right? Mumbles Mountain, this, 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 Bubble Gloop. Um, Kobe's Desert, Mad Monster Mansion, Rusty Buck Bay, and then Click Lock Wood. Yeah, yeah, that's only, that's only eight. And then the lair itself, I guess, which is like eight and a half. And then we're gonna... All right. We already got the bubble blue swamp painting. So we're just gonna swing out to get that grunty, uh, grunty eyes. Making good progress. Go. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, okay. Let's get over to Bubble Gloop Swamp. Problem. 180. I got 300. No problem. Let's do it. Let's heckin' go. Alright, can't get that till later. I don't think this is the one bubble blue. No, it is. It is. So let's, yeah, let's just hop right in there. Through here is some boots. Oh, no, it's her. Yeah, I think there's like one of her in every overworld area. Yeah, there's some boots I can't use yet. Whoa! But it's okay, I don't need them yet. Golden Feather there actually, like, lets you know that there's another option, just using the Gold Feathers. That's neat. Never thought about that before. Here's my health. Two. Yeah, let's... Let's get a couple. All right. And yeah, let's, let's crack a little into Bubble Bloop here. There's a move right here. Nice, waiting boots, very useful. You're being rude to your friend. Well, you go be like this, Banjo. Ready, bumpkin. Up. 
Oh, they're just feathers. Okay. I mean, feathers are useful and all. Alright. BY Yummy Egg 2. That's a whole mission that goes across the entire level, so let's not worry too much about it yet. I do see that mumbo token. Oh. Yeah, let's let's try out the waiting boots. I love that stretchy noise that it does when you put on the boots. Alright. Don't worry about you. I don't need the golden feather. Oh, it's egg. Yeah, I don't care for these climby bits as much because it's harder to tell which ones are actually useful. But, you know. Well, it's good. This is just a speed speed test. Whoops. Already failed. Good job. Whoa, hoo, hoo. A little, a little icy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Well, I almost got on the first try. I mean, I still got time, but... No, 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 not yet, not yet. Not yet. Oh, uh, yeah, may as well, since we're here. Right, you gotta kinda... The bouncing really messes it up. Get him. Ah, they keep bouncing right over me. Whoa. That's it. Yeah. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Get it without the rolls. Okay. That'd be at least a roll. I think that's the big thing. It's like the claw swipe is fine if you for like the honeycombs, like the the honey boxes or whatever. But uh, but it literally doesn't even stop most of the enemies. So it's like, what's even really the point? Got him. Oh, that was obnoxious. Uh, let's actually swing back. I want to stay as methodical as possible here so I don't forget anything. Let's give this another shot. Easier if I can the train behind me. Holy guns! Okay. There it is. Nice. Jinjo. Whoa! Ah, oh, damn. Oh, that's fine. Ah, uh, there's a Croctus up there that I gotta get, but... 
think I got all the notes, so I'm good on that. I think this is one of my favorite levels just for the mumbo transformation. He's just so cute. Little guy eater. You'll see him. You'll see him soon. He's a good little guy. He's running around. Little set of shorts. Backpack. Here we go. Next one's over there. Got it. Alright, where are we headed next? Um, let's swing over to the turtle. Let's just follow the Croctuses. They're over here. But uh, before we do that, I am going to go take a break. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch that internet dial. I'll be our back with more Charity Marathon in just a minute. Don't forget to donate, everybody. Let's toss up the donate link again. Go there. Get those wigs. Get those kids some wigs. Those wigs for kids. Do it. Do it.
All right, I am back. Hello, everybody. Let's keep going. Making pretty good progress here so far, so just gotta keep it up. Um, right, I wanna get up here to bang down on these huts. There's a bunch of stuff down there to pick up, but I'll wait until I'm a gator. You'll get it without a problem. the switch. And that, I believe, yeah, that blows that out. So that I can fall in and get that jiggy later. Let's keep going. And, oh, where's the next one? There it is. Whoops, nope. There it is. Whew. That could have been bad. Let's practice. Again. There we go. There we go. Oh, I miss. Oh my god, it keeps shooting me straight over it. One more, come on, I got it. There we go. I use like a combination. Up here. Is this a jiggy? Yeah. Nice. Much else to grab over here without the boots, so I'm just gonna wait till I'm a gator. So I'll do it for that. And then we're gonna get this guy. Oh, it's just boots. Oh, I do need to get that Jinjo. So let's get him. Then let's stomp his feet. <laughs> he makes the most horrifying sound. Scream so loud. It's all good. Apparently he's happy about it, because it reminds him that, oh yeah, I can put my, uh, put my feet in, so it's not as cold. Thank you. Thank you, Tank Cup. He's a friendly guy. Alright, and then... We have Tip Top's little orchestra. Quiet, please. Your famous Tip Top Choir will now perform my latest work. Okay. Got it. Be sure, isn't it? You'll see. But before I do that... No, no, no. I... I want to get the honeycomb above you. Thank you. Oh my god. Stop. Yeah, I know, I know. Let me just, yep. Yeah. Get some open behind you. And these notes. Surprised there aren't more musical notes given this the theming of this area. Alright. One in the bank. Not too bad. A try lesson two. Okay. 
Yeah. Red, light blue, yellow, purple, pink. No green. I guess they're all green. Really. Ah, splendid. You just need one more lesson. Red, yellow, dark blue, light blue, purple, red, light blue. Okay. Red, dark, whoops. Oh, red, yellow, then ah, I had the shape wrong. Red. <sighs> messed it up. I knew you'd need to see this one again. Let's see it. So it's red, yellow, dark blue, light blue, purple, red, light blue. Okay. The thing is, they show it in one direction and then have you enter it in a totally different direction. So it's a bit annoying. Purple. Not purple. Purple. Yep. Red. Light blue. That's it. Magnificent, a true masterpiece here. Take this trinket I found earlier. Gee, thanks. Boink. All right. I can move the mic a little bit. There we go, so we got the turtle did. And I believe over there is the gator. No, no, that's the huts, that's the gator. And then I think over that way. Right, 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 right. This way. Is the egg. Just gonna move these guys for a second. Yanks. Oh, that's a good There's the welcome. There are notes there that I'm gonna need to. Well, I'll wait till I just have the gator, I think. We're up. Not want not. And then we go up. And then we go. And one more. It's jiggy. Nice. Alright, just gotta wait for the leaf. And, yeah, you know what, it'll probably be faster to just get the boots and grab the notes. beginning of the stage. So yeah, we gotta swing this way for Mumbo's maze. And to become Gator. I believe there's some stuff to do before I become Gator, so let's manage that stuff first. Anything out here? 
here? No. Weird. We have that whole area just for <clears throat> nothing. Alright. There's the light blue proctus. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, and then the last one is by the turtle. Whoops. Well, if I was pathing for a speed run, that would have been pretty ridiculous, but it works out. All right, let's get over there. Getting pretty low. Ooh, I need to play it very cool. Uh, I know of at least one beehive, so let's swing over to that. Up here. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's there. Yo, in Banjo Tooie, there's evil beehives. They fight you. It's scary. I don't like those ones very much. It's a cool concept, but you know, it's just, uh, why would you do that? Why would you make them scary? They are, uh, they are friends. And let them be friendly. And we're going. Keep it going. Once again, I'd love to take this time to remind you all that we are benefiting Wigs for Kids, accepting donations on the Tiltify site, which you can see in the chat or on screen. Go, go there and donate. Those kids need wigs. They, wigs for Kids benefits children and teens who have experienced hair loss due to illness and other reasons. Um, they don't charge the family anything, so any monetary donations is great. And hey, if you have long hair like me, you can uh, you can donate your hair, which would also be great. But that only covers about 30% of the costs, so you want to make sure that you still donate monetarily if you can. Um, and I will be donating my hair at the end of this stream. That's what this stream is for, everybody. We're going to be... Cutting my hair at the end. Send it off to donate and let it dry right now. Make sure to get it all detangled and clean. But it's gotta be dry before you send it off or otherwise it'll get gross in shipping, so. I have many hours of Banjo-Kazooie to play still, so I'll be okay. And got it. Easy. I see speedrunners, they'll like just, they'll just whip over, like they'll just basically do a big old jump right into the center of this, and then uh, right to the end, and it's like, it doesn't look that hard, but it looks hard enough that I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna risk it. There's no need. 
All right, second mumbo transformation. It's it, there's no mumbo transformations between the first level and the fourth. It's a little odd, but it's all right. Mumbo can't always be transforming. Eat gum, oh, gum. This is this is the one with the feathers. I'll just grab a ooh and an empty honeycomb in the middle. I saw that. Yeah, it's always good to double check that stuff. So you never know when Mumbo's gonna have something cool. Ah. There's at least one that has notes. I think one that has a straight up JK. There we go. Oh yeah, there he is. My favorite guy. I love him. Wait, Mumbo needs new boots. Oh, only kidding. Mumbo, don't scare me like that. I'm just a little guy. All right, and we got a bunch of stuff to pick up, but of course, we don't need to worry about it all quite yet because we're gonna do the the gator challenge right over here. Well, actually, yeah, let's pick up those notes to be safe thinking about it because if, I don't think I'll get killed in the gator challenge, but if I do, I will feel like such a fool. Over here, yeah. We got pink ginger and some notes and a new combo. Last ginger for this world. Get some notes over here. And we got this guy. All right. Oh yeah, and we got the the Croctus. I was worried. I was like, what's the last what's the last one I gotta do? The last jiggy. This Croctus. Those hungry, hungry boys. I'm pretty sure the last few notes are in here, so swing through, get those, then I'll challenge him. Because I don't mind dying um, after I've gotten all the notes. It's just, uh, if, you don't, if you miss even one note, you gotta get them all again. It's Mr. Vile, greatest croc of all, plays game to word. Of course. Eat more red yumblies than me. Let's do it. Nice try. Uh, oh, what the heck? Oh, right, you gotta hit the button to eat them. And you can use the shoes if you want to come back, but it's really not that necessary. You know, it can get a little tricky in some of the later rounds, but as long as you understand how he functions, it's not too bad. Good. Oh, ah, the best is when you can snag one right from in front of him. Oh, yeah, and gone all the way. Yeah, see that? Ooh, feels good. Oh, uh oh. Ooh, it's getting closer than I expected. No, 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 no. They're mine. You're mine. Yeah. Uh, you only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellows. They're not ripe. Hurt your tummy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, 
got hope for these little pockets around here. Oh, oh. It's mine. Jeez, still so much time left, and it's really close. Oh, no, no, no hope at that. Oh, still one by exactly one. I'm gonna stream mark of that. All right, and then this one, this one throws people off because they don't get how it works. Uh, it changes every 10 seconds, so you just gotta watch the time to know when to switch over to yellow. Yeah, this one, and especially he starts like rubber banding really hard. Oh, whoops. Get him, God, get him. Oh, all right. All the good ones start disappearing when they switch. All right, this is gonna be really close. No, oh, I didn't mean to get him. No, no, oh, I'm gonna lose this one. Ah, oh, damn. Well, it was close. My mission file wins. Now Grinny gets chewed. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Try to bite. All right, we gotta try that last bit again. Look at his little feet going. Ah, oh, love this guy. To try again. Yes. Are we starting from the top? Yep, starting from the top. Well, that's unfortunate, but oh well. Yeah, I just got some bad RNG last time. The hope is that if you go that far, you're gonna get at least two, but you can't always. You can't always end up so lucky. He will, it seems, always go for whichever one is closest. So if you do steal one from him that's uh, a little closer, it'll knock him off course towards a bearer patch. Of course, you don't really need to do it that much, especially in this part. Yeah, these first two are pretty easy, and then the last one is a little trickier. All right. Shout for the yellows. There's a good patch of red over there, but I don't think I can get to it in time. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. Red, 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 red. This was a mistake. Too risky, too risky. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed him. Ah, two, perfect. And another one, and another one. Okay, I think I got it, I think I got it. Okay. One more. Yep, here we go. Turn out with reds. Watch for the change. Yep. 
you want to basically position yourself in a good spot for when the change happens. Be careful not to start eating one from the last change uh, before it changes because sometimes it'll count it as incorrect. Yeah, this is gonna be very close. Oh no! Oh, I got a gross one. No! Oh, it's gonna be very close. Ah, no! Oh, tied! Uh, he wins a tie, I guess. No. Get out of here. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, the last one can get real, real close. All right. Another go. 100%, we got to do it, so... Quite a few of them. Oh my god. Oh, there's so many over there. Okay. Yeah, they're mine. They're mine, bud. Don't even think about it. Yeah, I'm gonna try it again here, and if I can't get it, then I'll wait until I get the the speed shoes and come back. Cause I already got all the notes, which is the main thing. Uh oh. Oof. Okay. All right, still going for reds. Speeding up. He's speeding up. He's gonna get me. Ah. Okay. Okay, well, let's do Croctus, and I will come back to do that once I have the speed shoes. But yeah, it seems like it's just not gonna be doable without them this time. That's fine. It happens, yeah. As long as I'm getting those... As long as I'm getting those, uh... As long as I am getting those, uh, notes. Notes is the word. Why was that so hard to remember? Shortcut out of here. 
I mean, I guess there's this way. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Ooh, low on health. Shoot. Yeah, I, I'm gonna play it safe. It's not like I can't take the death, but, you know. Oh yeah, also, I am going to change it up a little bit. Um, ah! Yeah, I'm gonna double my donation per hour every time I die, because that's actually uh, more likely to happen. So now, two dollars donated per hour that it takes me to finish this. All right, let's get you practice. All right, and then, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got everything. Uh, yeah, I got everything except for the Dr. Vile Jiggy, or Mr. Vile, excuse me, he does not have his doctorate, um, and the Croctus one, so I'll get the Croctus one now, and I'll come back with the Mr. Vile one after I get to shoes, and we'll be, we'll be good. Ah! No! Got greedy. And then I don't, I can just take my time. Got him egg. That's over there? No, it's over there. Yeah, my priority is notes, Jinjos, because they reset, and any, um, any Jiggies that require, like, a bunch of steps. Like in, uh, in, uh, Click Clock Wood, there's quite a few of those, so I want to be very careful there. There we go. I got him. Yeah, that one is... It's a bit annoying playing it with this because uh, the up C that I need to fire the eggs um, is on the right stick, which means that it's actually very easy to accidentally hit... Uh, to either direction and end up just adjusting the camera when you're trying to just like aim a little bit. There we go. Eat him egg. He's hungry. Get the, let him have egg. Feed the boy. any eggs. Oh no. I guess we'll get, uh, get the boots and get some more egg. Man, Croctus, you're really putting me out with this egg business. second because I'm going to grab the boots. And we're moving along. Let's, let's go. 
let's freaking go, as they say. Is that what the Twitch kids are saying? Let's freaking go. Well, crap. Uh, no, this is not a problem I've run into very often, but I'm out of eggs. Any eggs in these? Nope. Oh, there's some eggs. Need the boots. Anywhere there are boots, I would like them. Wow, okay, I'm having a yeah, great deal of difficulty with this one. I didn't even consider running out of eggs as an option. Ah, it goes to show what I know. There's gotta be boots around the bottom of one of these, right? I hear them bouncing. There they are. All the egg I can. Oh, I can't grab any of that egg. Mm, that's three. Hopefully I can get in three! Yeah, I know, your feet are so cold. Ooh -wee. I'm just messing around, boy. I know it sucks. Gotta. There we go. Whew. It's kind of very close. All right, and then, yeah, we're gonna come back for Mr. Vile. Another time. So yeah, let's view our totals so far. We got everything but Mr. Vile. We got everything in Clanker's Cavern. We're missing a honeycomb there. I'm not sure where it's at. Got all of Mumbo's Mountain. And then Grunty's Lair, we got four of the ten. We're cranking along. Doing pretty good. I'd say so. Alright, let's move it along. Oh, I wanted to be Mr. Vile again. It's fine, it's fine. Or not Mr. Vile, I wanted to be the, uh... Hello, Alright, let's set it. Here we go. Swing straight out there. Close. There we go. Alright. Made it. Just barely. There's the other boots to get back. And there's Freeze Easy Peak. Right, I forgot about Freeze Easy Peak. Hmm. Hey, thanks for coming in and eating me down the stairs. Hoo <laughs> I loved this game as a kid too. I, I played it like all the time. It was my first uh, Nintendo 64 game. My grandma got it for me with my Nintendo 64. 
So, um, yeah, I've been playing it more or less like most of my life. So 100%ing it, not too hard for me, but, um, yeah, it's still gonna take a bit. I've already had one death. Every time I have a death, I'm doubling um, how much I'm going to donate per hour it takes me. So now I'm up to $2. Uh, and we are benefiting Wigs for Kids, so, you know, check out the donation link if you hit, uh, you can either type in what's on the screen, or if you put, uh, exclamation point donate in the chat, it will give you a link to the Tiltify page. You steal the game from your cousin? Yeah. I, I was pretty much, like, the gamer in my family, for the most part, like, my brothers would play games and stuff, but it'd be like, I'd have the actual console and everything. So, uh, yeah. I'd borrow from uh, my, like, second cousin sometimes, but that wasn't until, like, PS2 era. But yeah, family was always a great, great uh, resource for trying different games that you might not get yourself. All right, and I gotta get, get Alligator to go through. The, uh, freeze easy bit there. But yeah, we're, uh, we're getting pretty far along. Um, I'm 100%ing it today. Full marathon. Estimates like 8 to 12 hours. Which right now we're coming to the end of hour 3, and I'm mostly done with this one. Um,. Still gotta come back for Mr. Vile, and there's a couple of, like, empty honeycombs that I gotta deal with later. But, we're cranking along. I, I feel pretty good about my estimate. And yeah, we're benefiting wigs for kids. They get, uh, wigs for children and teens who have lost their hair due to medical stuff. You can donate your hair if it's long enough. I'd say go aside and check that out. Or, monetary donations are also very helpful, because the donated hair only covers so much. The rest of the, uh, the monetary donations go a long way to making sure that they can do it because they don't charge the families anything, not a dime. And it's, it's pretty expensive to get these high quality hair pieces made for these kids. So if you can, donate. Let's get these kids some wigs. And if you, uh, if you don't have stuff to donate, you know, spread the word. Let people know what's going on. The more people we can get in here, the bigger spread we can get, the more more hopefully donations we can get. And at the end of the stream, I'm gonna cut my own hair to donate it, so get excited for that. I'm excited, I've been growing my hair out for like seven years. So it's gonna be nice to have short hair again for, for at least a little while. I'm pretty much immediately just gonna grow it back out to uh, you know, donate again in a year or a couple years probably. Took me a while to grow it out long enough. Yep, 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 yep. I actually played this and Banjo Tooie and the the Game Boy Advance one that everybody forgets um, on my stream before. It was like the first games, the first longer series I ever did. But unfortunately, um, I wasn't able to 100% Banjo Tooie because Canary Mary is nigh but impossible in that version. Alright. Gonna swing through. For the the little uh the little nook that the little guy can fit in. <laughs> I've learned this spell, it's really neat. I'll keep it later for your treat. Oh jeez. That sounds concerning. All right, get on through there, little buddy. Whoop. He's gonna get all chilly, he's cold-blooded. Hey, it's Cheeto. Cheeto, the spell book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Is this che I thought Cheeto was, um, I thought Cheeto was near... Huh, I thought that was by Mad Monster Mansion. Weird. 
sweet. Oh, right, you gotta find multiple. I guess I've never found this one, weird. Well, I needed to anyways for the, uh, I, I don't know if that'd count as 100%, but whatever. Blue eggs, got it. I actually did run out of eggs, so that's gonna be very useful. Um, we're coming close on a break, so I think I'll probably loop back to Treasure Trove Cove and look up where that other empty honeycomb is so that I can get that did. But for now, we're getting out of here. We gotta unlock, or we gotta go to Freeze Easy Peak, and then go be. Gobi's one of my least favorites because of all the different, like, flying puzzle stuff you gotta do. Clanker and free and, uh, yeah, Clanker and Gobi are, like, my least favorites. I like Click Clock Wood a lot because it's so interesting and so ambitious the way that they managed it. Yeah, it's skin weak, I know, I know, bud. I've been here. Come on now. All right, didn't even really look around here. Just kind of ran straight for it. Uh, yep, you're here. Good to know, good to know. Now let's hop up here. Keep on keeping on. Nice. Um, I believe it's a grunty switch for that. Yeah. Then Gobi's Desert would be through here. Hey! Thanks for following the big Disney fan 86. I appreciate it. A great deal. We're doing... We're doing a, uh... Do you want to build a snowman? Uh... I don't think I can build one in this one, but I'm at least going... Going to climb up on one. Hold on, let me... That's a little something. I have it set on the donations for uh, 25 bucks for a song request, but uh, yes, I am gonna be fighting some. Yeah, since I haven't really gotten any donations yet, I figure I'll give you a freebie. Show you what I can do. Um, but yeah, thanks for following. We are doing a charity stream today for Wigs for Kids, so anything you can donate, that'd be great. If not, you know, spread the word. And if you got long hair, consider donating. Those kids need wigs. Um, and yeah, you can see if you hit uh, exclamation point donate in the chat, it will give you a link to the donation page. Um, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Yes. Those kids needs wigs. Donate. Donate. Of course, I'm going to donate my own hair, and I'm going to donate $2 for every hour it takes me to beat this game. Uh, and that will double every time I die, which... Ooh, I might regret that <laughs> towards the end, especially Click Clock Wood is very, very big on the deaths. So, you can be very, very careful, but, you yeah. know. Uh, we got several incentives, like a Kazoo Song Request at $25 donations. Uh, the first 50 people to donate $50 will get a print of our cool thumbnail that you can see right there without the pink text there, of course. 
And that's going to be all out of pocket, which is why it's limited to 50. Um, and yeah, anything you guys can give would be great. You know, wigs for kids, they, they depend on financial donations as much as they do hair donations. And I'll be donating my own hair today, but if we could get some more donated to him on top of that, it'd be very helpful. Excuse me. <laughs> Had a little some. Oh, Rusty Bucket Bay deaths, too. Oof. It's gonna be rough, but, you know, we'll see. I'm gonna... I think I might have to put a cap on it at some point just for the sake of, like, my wallet. Because I am not a wealthy person, but um, I'm, I'm doing as much as I can. All right. Now, there's a trick with these. I'm gonna try it out. Uh, now, I believe the trick here is if you get... Nope, no. Nope. There's, like, something you can do with the camera. That, like, causes it so that they don't spawn in or something. I don't remember how to do it. Dip. This is one of the harder challenges in the game. There we go. I can get about two at a time, looks like. Oof. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, though. Might need to do it in two. Oh, wait. I might be able to get it here. Whoa. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, they respawned faster. It's okay. Here's my last guy. Fittingly, he's another blue one. There we go. Oof. Uh, I am playing this on Switch. I'm definitely going to get Nintendo Sports, but um, I, I don't want to purchase it until I know how much I'm going to be donating because of the stream, since, yeah, it might get pricey. Ooh. Ah! Ah! Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Get the combo. There we go. But yeah, I'm super stoked for the sports. Switch sports. Like, I'm honestly shocked it took them this long to port it because that's, like, was the most popular game on Wii. There were so many people who got it, got a Wii just for that and only ever played that on Wii. Which makes sense, you know? It's why it became such a family console. Thought... Thought on the links? Uh, what links? I'm not, I'm not sure what you mean about the links, but uh, Game Boy coming to Switch, super stoked, because I was always like a portable gamer growing up. You know, I'd have like the Game Boy, I'd have the DS, all of that. So, um, hey, thanks for following S Sift TTV second account. <laughs> um, we are doing a charity stream today, so if you can, follow the link to donate. Uh, put in exclamation point donate, and it will give you the link, or you can type in the one that's on screen now. Uh, oh, right, you gotta actually hit the switch on this one. But yeah, no, I'm super stoked on Game Boy games coming to Switch. Um, because, like, yeah, the, those are the ones that I played the most as a kid. Uh, I don't think a lot of people are thinking, like, oh, man, that means Pokemon, right? It's probably not going to be, frankly. Like, people are getting their hopes up a little too high uh, on that one, I think. But, yeah, it's going to be sick. Yeah, Wii Sports Bowling's pretty good. I always liked, it's not on this one, but they might add in DLC Archery, which was in Wii Sports Resort. 
And the golf one, the golf one I always loved. Oh, they also did Mario Golf recently on the uh, Switch Online. Gotta check that out soon. All right. Got the, the beak baum. I did. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, the camera controls are a little wonky here because you got to use the stick. But it's still like the cardinal directions. All right, uh, let's not fly quite yet. Let's get as much as we can off the ground first. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, let's go over to this ground. Mumbo. There we go. Yeah, one more. There we are. Never good at golf games? I would recommend if you want to get good at golf games, uh, play Golf Story. It's got it's got a story. It's fairly funny. It's got like really good golf gameplay, and it's it's got a really good progression to just kind of teach you how to play the golf stuff. So definitely definitely recommend Golf Story. It's on Switch. It's I think like twenty bucks. Um, I'm gonna play that on stream someday. Someday in the future. Who knows when though. The big thing with that is I got to the end, the final tournament, and then I just could not win. I would always be so close, but never quite, never quite right. Frustrating. All right. Um. Anything over here? Maybe. Ah, Jinjo. Saw you. Yes. One of my incentives, which, which granted is very high, so I don't know if we'll hit it, but um, if we reach a high enough goal. Uh, I will get a banjo kazooie tattoo, which will probably be like a little, just like a little jinjo. I think that'll be cute. Um, yeah, I don't have any tattoos, so that would be my first tattoo. At, at the pace we're going, I don't know if we'll reach that, but you know what? Let's not be downers about it. I, I believe in us. I think we can do it. Come on, donate. Get those kids some wigs. I know I said I was going to do everything on the ground, but uh, kind of just started going up the scarf on instinct. It's also with like the Wii Sports games, it was never about being very good at them. You know, it's more about the fun of actually playing it. So I, I never really necessarily won at golf, but I would always try my best and I'd always have a fun time. So I think that was good enough for me. Oh, um, wait, this is how I got on. Need to go to the other side. Yeah, yeah, it is very helpful to have the, uh, the suspend points. Uh, I haven't been using any here because just, it's, I mean, I know this game so well that, like, I'm not too worried about it, but, you know. Quiet, grunty. Polluting my chat. Ah, it's, it's motivating. Tough love. I tell him the news. Um, can I get over to him? I think so. Ooh. I felt it. I felt it about to slide. Whoop. All right. Now let's get the sled. 
Yeah, I mean, most of these emulation packs will let you do that, but um, it is really nice to have it, you know, official like this and just in a in a neat little pack. Plus, most of these N64 games uh, had not been emulated officially yet, so I appreciate that. I'm really looking forward to Kirby and the Crystal Shards, which was like my one of my favorite N64 games. So good. I'll definitely marathon that when it comes to this. They've announced it well. Uh, but with that, I gotta take a break real quick. Stretch my legs, hit up the bathroom, all that. I recommend y'all do it too. Don't be too sedentary, and hey, be sure to uh, donate. Let me get that link back up. Be sure to go there to donate. Let's get these kids some wigs. All right, I'll be RB in just a minute, everybody. Okay, okay. Hey, there we are. Okay, I am back. Let's keep going. Uh, let's give these these kids some presents, but let's get those kids some wigs. Be sure to donate at the link. We are benefiting wigs for kids who get wigs made for uh, children and teenagers who have lost their hair due to medical conditions, accidents, whatever reason. They don't charge the family anything, so any monetary donations you can give are super appreciated, and I'm gonna be donating my own hair at the end of the stream here, so stay tuned for that. Sorry, I just did a bunch of jumping jacks. <laughs> Sometimes it takes me a little bit of time to catch my breath after that, but I wanna get back to the, back to the stream. I don't wanna make you guys wait for me, although I guess you're always waiting for me when it comes to the stream. This is my stream. 
Oop, I missed one. Hmm. Weird. Well, glad I caught it then. That would have been annoying later. Let's see. Oh, hey, thanks for subscribing to the YouTube channel. Big Disney fan. Um, yeah, I have my personal channel, which I'm not posting to as much lately because I want to do things with a little more effort behind them. And then uh, the uh, stream archive channel that has all my past live streams on it. You can check that one out too. Whatever you want to do. Uh, you know, I saw a ledge that had more. That had more of the notes on it. I think it was over here. Right, it was like under the scarf. Yeah, over there. Whoa. Okay. I, like froze up for a second. Weird. Ah, yes. I gotta turn into a walrus to not scare this guy. <laughs> Right, I see, I see. And then that's... Okay, that's where the race ends later. Let's try this. Yeah, one up. Although, I've maxed out on the one ups. Uh, okay, so Kirby and the Crystal Shards will be your first Kirby game. Really? That's a pretty good one to start with, I would say. Um, the the usual one is uh, Nightmare in Dreamland, or whatever versions of that you see. I played the GBA version, but there's also like Kirby Superstar, which was like that and some other stuff on uh, NES. But yeah, those those are pretty fun. I, I really love Kirby. It's like just super delightful. And uh, I love the N64 one because it has like combo abilities. Like you can combine, um, you can combine abilities so that you can get all sorts of weird combinations. You can have like a lightsaber, a fire sword. You can have like a weird like Swiss Army knife thing. It's super fun. And got him. Sweet, now he's got that up top and on bottom. Don't think of the implications of why suddenly one appeared underneath his legs. Whoa! No, no, no! Oh no! My hubris! Oh! I didn't get all the notes first. Oh, man. Well. That is my fault. Thankfully, it saved, like, um, Boggy and everything. Oh, boy. Damn, I had so many of the notes, too. Ugh. Well, all right. That's upping my donation to four now. Four dollars per hour. So I gotta keep on moving to hopefully make this not be too many hours. I'd also recommend that as a way if you guys want to. Just kind of pledge to uh, donate per hour and donate at the end of the, the stream. Yeah. Certainly also works. Yeah. Gotta hit the tree button and fly through the star. I know, I should have used the same thing, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's only my second death, so I'm actually I'm still doing pretty well. Whoa. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess there's no reason not to use the save, but I just, you know. Ah. I'm just feeling like doing it clean. Well, I already got the Twinkies at least. Uh, let's do the star actually because there's the the flight pad right over here. We're going up. We're going around. All right. Fly through the star. Ah. I always do that. That's why I don't like the flight here is that I'm just like, I'm, I'm gonna zip right through it right now and I misjudged it. Or, oh, do I have to do the, the zip right through? Oh boy, let me actually then do it from a little bit more time. Oh, hit button then star. I see. I thought the star popped up inside for that that button, but okay. There it is. <laughs> Whoa! No, thank you. No, thank you. All right. Button is in the pot. Yes. No. Where's the button at? I don't recall. Oh, right, it's there. You gotta hit it with the egg. So yeah, let's get rid of these troublemakers. <laughs> the camera is. Yeah, it's a bit annoying using the stick for the camera and the egg. There it is. Be a star and you'll find your reward. All right. Let's go. Don't waste no time with your nets. Our net worth is set, ready, go. We be the color of the man. We be bad. We be working with our 24 hour size shower minds. Have it when we don't. Gotta get it super fast. Oh. One more, I think. Hopefully. There we go. Ah, good. And the timer stops. If I had to do that on t time, that would have uh, not been good for my nerves. Oh, dip. Ah, it's cold. Oops. When you try and do the big jump fast, sometimes you end up just ground pounding. Oops. Oh, do I gotta get all the presents again? Yes. All right. Yeah, da, 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 da. up we go. Grab all the eggs I can get. Oh, right, I forgot I was going to go to Treasure Trove Cove. It'll be okay. All right. Doing pretty okay. We're getting back on track. And yeah, let's do the, the snowman and actually get the, uh, the jiggy this time because it didn't lock it in last time. Because I was a fool. Uh -oh. 
There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Now we're going down. Actually, grab this jiggy. There we go. And then, uh, there is something on top of the snowman, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't remember, though. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's take out all these snowmen giving us grief. Whoops. Ah, damn. Let's get these ones first. There's a mumbo token. Perfect. Nailed him. Then, gonna get this guy. Nice. And... Oh, oh, don't hit me. Don't, ah, dip. I meant to hit B, but I accidentally hit A again. Whoop. And one last one. Oop, up here. I thought it was over there. Oh, nope. Oh, no. Oh, I need a feather. Oh, I'm out of feathers. No. Dip. All right, all right. Let's go down. Let's go down and grab some of the uh, honeycombs that they dropped. Oh, I got most of them. All right. More feathers. Yeah, I'm gonna just need to farm a few feathers while I can. Uh oh, slip slide. Okay. And then there was one over here which had the uh, mumbo token. Which I don't really need the mumbo token, but it's good to have. In fact, let's do the race. Let's, let's get that done. And did I get enough health to be maxed out? Eh, not quite, but I'll be fine. Hello again. I'm waiting for someone to race me. Hmm. Okay. I do have to become the walrus for that, so let's go be walrus. Empty honeycomb. <laughs> then, are there boots around here, or do I just have to go for it? And I'll go for it, that's what I gotta do. I just wanna, I just wanna know. I'll just go for it. I can get most of the way there. Yeah, there are some boots around here somewhere, I'm guessing. Mmm. 
Yeah, racing can be hard. Thankfully, like most of my time I spend playing racing games on here, so I'm I'm very accustomed. But I can totally understand losing the race, it's pretty tough. Nice go. You're keeping this little man in your house rent free? Like with that. Ah. Alright, turn me into the guy. There he is. Fat little boy. And you're gonna fight. Got big teeth. That's that's correct, my friends. You got a problem with that? Better not. Okay. Now I can get all this stuff, I can do the race, I can hang out with my walrus friend. It'd be great. Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy a race up on the sled if you do. Let's do it. Get, get on there. Please, there we go. Right, now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and boot me to the end. Got it? Three, two, one, go! Yeah, bud, let's do it. This one's didn't even pop up right away. That's the other thing, is the Xbox version has a better draw distance. So, uh, sometimes it can be a bit tricky. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. And then we're up. And we're up. Ah, no! Ah, dip! Ah, dip! Ah, no, it's like right at the end! Oh, okay, no, we got a little time still. Oh, behind pretty quick. And... Going up. Oh, it's gonna be close. No. Ah! Ah, that cheater. Oh, well. Yeah, let's give that another shot. If I hadn't fallen behind at that one part, it would have been okay. Get on there. Get on there. There we go. Go! We're going. Gotta cut it real tight. Get on the inside track. Gotta get ahead of him. Up. Ah! This is the part where you gotta, like, get right ahead of you. Man, this is harder than I remember. I think the Xbox version got a little nerfed. That was the last version that I played this part on. Alright. No! Up, 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 up. Faster, faster, faster. Ah! Ah! Oh! Just barely. That was very close. You're too quick for me. Here's your medal. You 
bloody Ooh. cheating bear. Alright. Then I need the uh, the sneakers for the next one, so we're gonna we're gonna wait and come back on that because I gotta go to Gobi's to get it. Oh yeah, and he's right here. Hello, friend. Whoa, another walrus. Take this. Watch out for a smelly bone bear and his ugly bird partner. Thanks, bud. Let's go hang out with them for a minute. Yeah, I did it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's trickier than I remember. All right. Swing through here. Oh yeah, what's this? It's a honeycomb. And a bunch of stuff. Certainly use as much as I can get. I am robbing his stuff like a teeth. Uh oh. Of course, a walrus has very large teeth. All right, up we go. And there's a ginger over there. I have to come back for him. Why, hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around. Walrus' cave. I did. I stole your stuff. You didn't even notice. Fool. All right, let's get water. All right. And what else do we get? Anything special? Not over here. Hear that last snowman up there. Oh, stuck on the wall a little bit. Now it is mine. Perfect. Perfect! Alright, let's see. Anything else over here? If I get close enough that the draw distance will actually load. Nope, nope, nope. Right. I think that's about everything for the walrus. So, around. yep. All right, that'll do it for this fella. Knock it off. Oh. Snowball either missed or didn't even hurt me because I'm Chili Boy. It's nice, it's nice. All right, let's change back. All right. Now let's get that last snowman. And then head on top of the giant snowman. Jeez, these ones don't last any time at all. Stingy, stingy. Ah, dip. It's cold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
and let's oh hey another incombo alright let's take him out oh bam oh he has his gold feathers that's well, okay I needed to do that first anyways it's a bit twisted you know what certainly done worse Get that for is it gonna hurt me as soon as I stop? Whoop. Whoop. All right, once again, I'd like to remind y'all this is a charity stream benefiting Wigs for Kids. Wigs for Kids provides wigs to children and teenagers who have lost their hair due to medical reasons, accidents, or, you know, any reason really. They don't charge anything to the families, so um, they do rely on financial donations, so. Anything you can give will help. You can go to the link on screen now, or you can go to the link in the chat right there. And yeah, I'll be donating my own hair, and I'll also be donating $4 per hour it takes me to finish this game. And, uh, ooh, they'll double if I die again. So I'm gonna be real careful not to die again, because this, this is gonna get kind of pricey. Um, yeah, we will, we'll see how that works out. And, oh, right, there's a Jinjo over there and some, uh, some notes. Oh my god, it's that mess with my brain. Nope. That's the one. Ooh, yep. Let's get some more. Oh. Well, that's alright, I'll grab them as I go down. Alright. Get a bunch of red feathers. And we're continuing on. Mm, here we go. There we go. Got all the notes. Let's see how we're doing on Jiggies. Seven. Still missing three. Hmm, okay. Right, I gotta get the last Jinjo. I gotta get the last Jinjo, gotta get the presents. It is the last Jinjo. Last Jinjo is orange. He was in the tree, right? There we go. I forget the button. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the orange Jinjo's in the tree, so let's swing over there. And then the last one is going to be the last race, which I can't do until I get the speed trainers. So I'll come back around for that. Right, was he in the tree? I might be wrong about this. Yeah, whatever, he heard him. Well, let's, uh, put these feathers at least. Oh, wait, no, he's in the walrus cave, right? I had to go back there. Cool, yeah, let's do that. Where are we headed? Not over there, that's the start of the race. Aw, oh, man. Honeycomb fell into water. It's too chilly. I can't get it. Ice cold. Oh, God. Yup. 
right. Then, yeah, sorry, Waza, we're gonna have to freak you out. Gotta get my man. And then you can see through here. It's the ice key. The ice key you can't get in this game, unfortunately, because they ended up dropping that. But um, it is in Banjo-Tooie you can get the ice key. Uh, and when you get the ice key, you can open up a thing that I won't spoil. Because if I do do Banjo-Tooie at some point, I will be doing that. Yeah. The thing is, you gotta, like, transfer it or something. I forget how it works. But, uh, yeah. Or, like, I, I think it's like you find it somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, the ice key was one of the cooler aspects because it's, like, it's so much mystery. What is it? And the answer is, uh, unfinished ideas. There's also, like, the eggs you can get that are special, but you can't do anything with them. But, yeah, in the N64 version, you can do some stuff. Um, still, you can't do quite everything that they wanted to do. Because it was stop and swap, basically. You would unlock stop and swap, and the idea is that you would basically go there, you'd stop the game, you'd switch Banjo-Kazooie into Banjo-Tooie, because it, like, saves the RAM for, like, a few seconds. And it was, uh, it was a cool idea, but they couldn't handle the liability of kids, like, ripping, ripping their cartridge out damaging it or like damaging their N64 so couldn't do it but it was an interesting idea at least now we've all got presents here's something for you thanks pal good all right let's see what all we got now so we've got all the notes, we've got the honeycombs, and the last jiggy we need the runny shoes for. So we'll have to come back. But that's fine. We, we got all the notes, so it won't matter that much. Making pretty good pace. Yeah, almost four hours in. About about halfway through the game. Um, yeah, might get a little difficult at this point, but we'll see how it goes. Or no, I don't want to do this yet because I don't have the ski shoes still. Forget if there's any secrets that you can do as the walrus out here. Probably. There usually is. Um, let me... Uh, wait, no. There's a cauldron around here, right? Or no, I think it's higher up. Go boing. Um, I think that's where we came from. Maybe where we came from is in the middle. In any case, we continue onwards. Okay, there's another note door. This one is 450, which I do have, but I'm not going to pop it open quite yet because I want to keep my bearings. Oh, wait, no, I remember how to open this now. You could just... Whoops. You just hit it with the... Fart egg. Yeah, I just busted open. Another cauldron. I believe that connects to the one by... Treasure Trove Cove. Hello, Grant... Grantilda, whatever your name is, Brantilda. Brentis. Brentis Momentus. And then we're gonna walk over here. Oh, there's the first honeycomb with bees. Which is annoying. I get the idea, but like, come on guys. That's not very cool. And you got hit twice. Yep. All 
right, that's popped open. Oh no, that's the one that's at the front. Okay. That's it. You've done it. Cool. That's 350. Cool, and that's the way out of here. So let's pop open the 350 one. And I believe through here is, yes, the lava pit. All right. Okay, and I'm gonna say ahead of time, I know it's gonna be a little disappointing, but uh, if I fall into the lava pit at any point, any like one hit kills like that. <sighs> well, okay, uh, no, 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 because we're gonna include Rusty Bucket Bay as well. So, okay, I'll count it. I'm not gonna be happy about it. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I can do it. It's fine. Boo. It's alive. It's not alive. Not yet. But soon. And this, I'm pretty sure you just, yeah, just crush. Got him. And then you gotta beat a pumpkin to get through. But, got another life. My next world is the hardest yet, and you will fail on that, I'll bet! Yeah, probably. Probably once or twice, if I had to guess. Oh. Hold on, I'm slouching. I gotta be careful not to do that, because over this whole marathon, it's gonna really hurt my back. Alright. Whoa, whoa, -oh. whoa, -oh. okay. Now it's time to go to Gobi Desert. Let's be careful. Don't fall in the lava. This lava is so much more threatening than like Mario lava to me. Maybe because it's got like this kind of undulating look to it. I don't know, but it like always really scared me as a kid. Look at it. It's like creeping up on the walls a little bit. Ooh. Speaky. I don't like it. All right. Now we're swinging to Gobi. Oh, he can book him. He can book him. Although, no, he can book him here. In fact, I feel like uh, most of the levels don't have an Ikumbokum. It's only like five, four or five transformations total. Where the boots? Where the boots at? I need the boots. I just. Oh, okay, I can't just click clang. Let's boots it. All right, world six. Six of eight or nine? I don't remember. There's a hundred jiggies, so there have to be nine worlds and the lair. That's how it works. That's math. Hello, friend. And I think this is the last ability the bottles teaches you. Right? Uh. 
I might be wrong on that. I can't remember another one. Alright. Cracking into Gobi Desert, my least favorite. Like, I, I appreciate all of the other ones for what they can do, but this one, I just... Yeah, I'm not a fan. Needs to sh he needs his nose is all blocked up. He's gotta get it unblocked. <laughs> hey, that tickles. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hold on, I gotta get back up. Uh oh. Snakes. Oh, sand eels. Excuse me. I did not realize. keeps turning the camera a little bit because of how it works. There we go. Jeez, that one was really obnoxious. Ah, uh, that clear Jixie Snows. Come out in. Be a pal. Be a friend. You wanted to egg? Careful, I don't have a lot of eggs left. <laughs> okay, it's a very forgiving hitbox, at least. I did it. somewhere. I heard him saying help. Alright, let me... Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No thanks. No thanks, pal. I'm not buying it. You can't sell to me. I've got an ironclad will and an empty bank account. My debit card's never been accepted. Get you, get you someone who can do both. Ah, this is where he is. Sneaky, sneaky. I see you, bud. Grab it. Okay, that's Jinxie done. Uh, yeah, just got him. Thanks for the thanks for the tip, Disney fan. Any any reminders you guys can do? Cause like I've played this game a lot, but obviously there's still gonna be stuff I'm gonna forget. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Ooh, 
let's get this. Climb that up. All right. Might have been, yeah, might have been a bad idea to uh, try this. Ah, they still get you. Yeah. Okay. Gotta go. Get this honeycombs. Run! Run away! Ah, do not leave the level. Got it, got it. Oh no, they're back! Okay, okay. I got him, I got him, I'm good. Don't even worry about it, I got it. I got it, pal. Oh, that's not as useful. Right? And then we're gonna do this stuff in a minute. We just gotta get the notes first. Oops, timed it wrong. Eat egg. Eat egg and feed egg. Any tips on the final boss? Like in the uh, the quiz section or um, the actual fight section? Because the fight section can certainly be kind of tricky. It requires a much egg. I'll be honest, I've actually only ever beaten this game once. I've played it a lot, but actually getting to Grunty, not so much. The fight one. Okay, um, yeah, the fight one is pretty obnoxious because you basically, you gotta be able to hit her from on top of the uh, the ledge without falling off. And then once the gingernator comes out, you gotta be able to shoot eggs into the hole around the statue um, to be able to crack him open. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's any other parts to that. Those are the phases I remember. I think there might be another phase. But yeah, you kind of just have to like wait on her, take your shots as best you can, and just dodge. Dodge as much as possible. It's a tough final boss. Um, I think I have a highlight from when I beat the boss, maybe from uh, the last playthrough of this. Okay. And... Bam, there we go. And one more. Yeah, that's, it's... Yeah, there's not really much much help I can give you on that. It's really just difficult. She goes all out, and you just gotta hit as best you can. Uh, use, use the actual statue as a shield as much as you can. I know that's like easier said than done, but like, yeah, that's kinda what you gotta do. And she is just gonna be relentless. You just gotta be as quick as you can. Still hit. There we go. All right. 
We're continuing onward, so now we can actually go in the pyramid here. I think this is the one with the matching. No, this is the one with the mage. You chose not to heed our warning. Prepare to run. I remember this maze actually not being all that hard. No, I just looped around. Ah! No, 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 no. no I don't want to die and start over again. Oh, there it is. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Oh, my God. Yeah, I saw the witch switch there. I'm gonna make sure to grab that. My heart! Oh, that was so difficult. Oh, there's a ginger. I got you. I got you. And watch out this. All right. So yeah, we're gonna swing back for the witch switch. Oh, dip. Locks you in again. gotta activate the spring jump pad for there, but I think that's gonna be easier. Whoops. My heart. Okay. Whew. That was... Whoa. Oh my god. My life. I should be dead. Oh, man. Something about putting real world consequences of, uh. Putting real world consequences on deaths makes them so much more nerve wracking. But you know what? It's not even gonna be that bad, because, you know what? Even if I do have to donate a bunch, it's all gonna be for those kids to get wicks. So, it's all good in the end. Nice. It's not time, is it? Jinjo! the button. Ah, there it is. See, this wouldn't even be a challenge if it weren't for the cutscene taking up part of it. Here's the memory match game. Okay. It ain't even a problem. Just gonna get these first. Banjo looking like a goof. And then we're gonna get this egg over here. Honeycomb. Oh, 
Ranger next to Jin Zhao. Oof, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, come on, Bo. Feather. Feather was over here. Uh, Kazooie was over here. Nope, that's the honeycomb. Kazooie's underneath that. Oh, uh, that's Mumbo. That's a musical note. Oh, honeycomb. This guy's right on my friggin' cheeks. Back off, bud. I didn't ask you for this. Alright, that's Mumbo. And the last pair is the musical notes. Nice. Alright. There we go. Good, good, good. Oh, what's this rumbling? I guess that's the door closing. All right, then we just gotta wait for the, uh, for the magic carpet. Get me over to Gobi. Don't jump on yet, just trick. Yes. A dip. Gonna have to hit up another hive soon. I wasn't sure if it'd be solid while flashing. So, there we go. Keep going, Gobi. All right. Whoops. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, get out of there. Yeah, I can't reach it, so I just gotta wait. Okay. There we go. I believe there is a... Um... Yes, there is. And then we're gonna run away. Oops. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't touch me. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't want any. I did ask for this. I didn't ask for this. Remember that? Sex trailer. It's pretty funny. And then it's on top of a ridge that he teaches with his shoes. So let's uh run it out. Oh, well, I didn't ask for these. Oh, I guess I need them though. Very close. There he is. Hey, Bottles, get out of here. Teach me a thing. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on a scrawny feet to make a run real fast for a limited time. Oh, yeah. He also fills up your energies. I learned all the moves in the game. Nice. Thank you for your help. I just got some flying stuff, which we'll wait on for now. Right, 
get that and uh, ooh, actually it's a little after one so i'm gonna take another break but don't go anywhere don't touch there and that will be our back with more of the cherry marathon in just a minute let's get those kids some wigs here's the link once more all right see y'all in just a minute
I've been talking this whole time. I got lunch. Sandwich. Um, but yeah, run's going well. About halfway through, maybe even a little more than halfway through, Click Clock Wood's going to take extra long, though, so. Mm. We'll, uh, we'll see. I'm just hoping there aren't too many more deaths. It really increases the uh, the time. Right? I don't want to talk too much because it's going to sound gross, but at the same time, some people like that. I don't know if think it's a little gross. That was a good sandwich, though. Feeling energized. I also have some um, GG sups, but I'm going to try and save it until I'm feeling, you know, that, like, mid-afternoon, like, bleh. Mmm, more from Grunty. Thank you, thank you. Alright, I'm gonna go throw away this sandwich bag. BRB. Okay, we are back. Let me get a little water real quick. Alright. Keeping on, keeping on. In fact, let me look at my totals real quick. Well, I still got quite a bit to get here. Here's easy peek. I just got the one. I got the one in bubble gloop. I got the one honeycomb in Treasure Trove Cove that I still don't know. Six more in Gruntilda. Okay. We're making it happen. Nope, not quite. Oh, hey. He's from Bokum. Mumbo token. Oh. Hold on, don't want to hit that until I get the shoes. Ooh, 
Oh. Five seconds of that is just the cutscene. It's very annoying. Get in there. Oh no! Ah, oh, that's the worst. Ah, oh, it sucks so bad when that happens. You just you get caught on the door closing. Oh well. All right, just a reminder, we're doing we're doing this marathon for Wigs for Kids. Wigs for Kids is a nonprofit that creates hair pieces for kids that have lost their hair due to, you know, um, due to medical reasons or accidents or whatever. They don't charge the family anything for their child or teenager's hair piece. And yeah, they accept hair donations, which I'll be cutting my hair to donate at the end of the stream. But uh, they also need monetary donations to be able to cover the other costs that they have. So anything that you can spare would be super appreciated. And we got some like rewards, you know, I'll do a kazoo song for you if you do at least 25 bucks. If you do 50, then uh, you can get a print of uh, this cool thumbnail picture that we have here. That is limited to 50 though, unfortunately. And, um, what else? Uh, yeah, we got various goals at $1,000. I'll do like a medley of Banjo-Kazooie music for YouTube on piano, kazoo, and vocals. And, uh, you know, more than that, it'll be like at 2,000, it'll be a medley of kazooie and tui music. After that, there'll be a whole album um, and yeah, it just keeps going up. You can see it all on the Tiltify page, which is linked in the chat, and it's on screen there, so you can check it out there. At $20,000, I will get a Banjo-Kazooie tattoo, which will be my first ever tattoo, so if we do get there, that'll be pretty exciting. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes, you know? Get some egg. Oh, give me egg. Thank you. Trying to deny me egg? <laughs> Foolishness. Then we're actually gonna get the shoes to get Gravos jiggy. <laughs> No! Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted. Come on. I guess we'll just go around here. Got it. No, I've had that a thousand years. No, not that was on the bottom here. Which includes some musical notes. Which we definitely need all we can get. Thank you. 
like 14 short. It's strange. Okay, let's get out of here. Ooh, cut that a little close. Is there like a whole area I haven't noticed? Hmm. Oh wait, yeah, that temple. Is that in there? Is that in this pyramid over here? No. Anything? Huh. Well, we gotta fly around, so let's do that. Wait. At least not want not. Egg. Need egg. Provide egg. Yeah, there's something. Oh, okay, they're probably all in here then. we go we're in right this guy got about him hello yeah, I don't know where he lines up on the uh, gum, oh, gum. Oh, the uh, racial sensitivity, but whatever. I'm hoping they will put Banjo Tooie on Nintendo Switch. Oh, me too. I hope that they have just like straight from N64 because the Xbox version, while fun, um, is not 100%able. You can't like. You can't do Canary Mary on the Xbox One. I, I tried. Tried so hard. I've gotten close a couple times. I did it on the N64 back in the day. This is like the most annoying puzzle. You gotta get the bounces just right. More than that? You being greedy? There we go. Five. Thanks, bud. Let me up. Yeah. All right, I got two more jiggies to get, and I got five more notes somewhere. Where are those last notes? Oops. No. No, let me out. Oh, you know what? They're probably over there, right? Oh, he doesn't heal you on the reminder. Fine. I guess that's fair. Are they in there? Uh, I think maybe. Let me try and take the uh, magic carpet. Yep. Yeah, there they are. And that originally would go somewhere. Again, another part of the stop and swap. It never really came to be. Come on now. You gonna make me just wait here? Ooh, getting very 
loose. Uh, that works for me. Yep, yep, yep. There's one. Let's do it. Why is it Gobi's desert? Why not Jinx? Look at him over there. Being large. And in charge. to keep up because I have it set up so that it will make the game quieter when noise is going into the mic. So it's basically always just going to get quieter so that I can't hear it. Um, where's the last guy? It was between two cactuses. Oh wait, I know where two cactuses are. In front of Jinx. side jinx. I saw hit his feet. Trying to be conservative with the feathers now. Uh, 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 only joking, mortal. We can only give you these. Hey, that helps out, bud. Go get the Gobi, Jiggy. How are my totals? One of two. Here's the other one, I wonder. Hmm. Well, I got all the notes, and I'm gonna get all the Jiggies, so once again, I will come back for the honeycombs at the end. Give him water. He grow tall. All right. Right, that did it. So now let's, um, yeah, now that we got those, we'll swing back to Freeze Easy and, uh, Bubble Gloop. My hair is still kind of wet in the back here. I think I put a little too much product on it and didn't quite dry it off enough, but it should be good. I got plenty of time, you know? Right there, but I gotta get the spring jump. Uh, oh, maybe it's through here actually. Oh, 
Oh, the last, Gobi has the last honeycomb. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 you're right. I couldn't remember, but I will, yeah, I'll definitely go back to do that in a minute. Let me just, let me just do this real quick. So I can get this jiggy. Yes, yeah, yeah, so I'll go back in and get, uh, get the honeycomb. Then I will go back to Freeze Easy Peak and Bubble Gloop Swamp because I still need to do uh, Mr. Vile now that I have the speed shoes. Yeah, my current thing is if I need to get all the notes because they reset and I need to get all of the jiggies if I can, but um, if I'm having trouble remembering where like an empty honeycomb is, then I will, I'll skip over it for the time being and then come back at the end of the run to finish off any ones I miss. Like I, I'm still missing a honeycomb in Treasure Trove Cove that I can't remember. So I'm gonna have to go back for that one too. But so far I've been pretty solid. But yeah, bef I'm gonna get up to before Gruntilda and then go and sweep through all the stuff I missed. Which will hopefully not be much. Here. Whoa, 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 skidding. All right. There it is. Look at this desert to fight a piece of quiet. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, I was gonna look up a walkthrough, but if you remember where stuff is, then that will actually be much more helpful. But uh, yeah, I'll swing back around for that stuff at the end. But pace is going pretty well to finish this. Finish this in eight. You know, maybe nine. We'll see. The breaks can always make it go a little longer. All right. Back to freeze easy. Yeah, the one I'm gonna have a lot of trouble on, I think, is Mad Monster Mansion because it's so, just the way they've built it is like a little, a little tricky. I'm gonna turn my headphones down a little bit. I just realized it's quite loud. <laughs> Don't want to blow my ears out. Oh yeah, we should heal up real quick. No. No, don't touch me. Ah, okay. Too cold for you. Oh yeah, and I can do this stuff too. I'll do that after I do the race though. Uh, is there anything that the walrus does outside of the level? Because like we already did like the alligator and stuff, but um, yeah, I can't remember if I need to be the walrus when I leave for any reason. All right. Hey, buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Let's do it. Okay, buddy, here's the rules. Run through the red slow. Eh, it's the same rules as before. Go! 
Bam. Here we go. Ah, dip. I already missed the first gate. Whoops. Alright, let's do it again. Bam, let's go. It's much easier to get around him this time. Yeah, this is going to be very tight. Oh, jeez. Oh, my thumb is slipping. It's slipping off the stick. Ah, okay. I did it. Take my other medal. All right, that does it for this one. Yeah. Gobi's Valley, 100%. Breeze Easy, 100%. Bubble Gloop still need that Mr. Vile. So let's swing on back. Oh, oh, oh. Let me out. Let me out. All right. Let me adjust the mic. I always crane my neck to meet the mic rather than move the mic to meet my neck, which is like the whole point of this mic stand. Silly, silly. Bam, we're out. Oh yeah, let's do all this. This business too. Now that we got the speedy shoes. Go, 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 go. There we go. Oh, the way it shatters is so spooky. This guy. Ah, oh, dip. I was hoping not to fall down, but okay. Oh, and all I get is it. I don't. Okay. That's fine. That's my own fault. All right. Let's keep going. Oh no, I'm being sloppy with it. No, oh. <sighs> ran ass speed shoe. It's all right. It's all right. I've got this skirt, so when I'm thinner, it really makes me look a winner. Sure. Getting a little ahead of yourself. You don't even know exactly what size it would be, you know? Right, 
right, let's not goof around. Straight over. No, no, no! Ah! Oh! Missed it. I kept hitting A when I was sliding off of it. All right. Man, I shouldn't have been messing around that first time. That snowman. Frick, frick, frick. No, I don't think I'm gonna make it now. Can't even see it. I'm going blind. Get out of the way! Move! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Uh, come on. You gotta go. Up. Oh, no. Badge out. Banjo, Kazooie, Boldy, yes. Excuse me. There we go, got it. My goodness. She's supposed to be able to break one of these. Remember that being a thing. Uh -oh. Yeah, that one breaks. And then, like, there's one. I think there's, like, another door. Something, like, way up here. No, I guess not. Well, that's fine. Gotta go get that jiggy. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Keep moving. Keep on moving onward. Ah. Crap, that's not it. Hey. No, it's up there. Ah! Okay, one more time. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this is the last time. I'm gonna get it. Ugh. Here we go. Okay. Now we go to Bubble Gloop. But first, actually, it's kind of on the way. I gotta get that Jiggy from the cage. Which means that I just gotta go back towards um nope nope not this one not yet wait yeah this is where I'm going All right, yeah, I gotta go into the urn. Yo. 
into it. Yes. Nice. All right. Now we go over to Bubble Glue, beat Mr. Vile, and then we continue on with our quest. No. No, don't do it. One of the things I really appreciate from the sequel is uh, the warp pads. Like, these levels aren't half as big as the ones in Tui, but those warp pads were still so useful. Oh well. All right. Sorry, I'm just looking at the uh the tiltify real quick. Okay. There we go. turn back into an alligator and then go and do the challenge. Another reminder, folks, the uh, charity that we are supporting on today's charity stream is Wigs for Kids. They provide, at no cost to the family, uh, wigs to children and teenagers who have lost their hair due to medical reasons or accidents or whatever. And so that they don't have to charge the families anything, they do need monetary donations to be able to make these hair pieces. They're pretty pricey. They're very high quality hair pieces. So be sure to check out the Tiltify at the link on screen or uh, just go to the link here in the chat. There we go. And donate what you can. If you can't donate anything, hey, spread the word, you know. Um, oh, hello, Viv1377. Thanks for the follow. I was just saying, uh, talking about the charity that we're supporting today, which is Wigs for Kids. Um, they provide wigs to children and teenagers who have lost their hair for, you know, whatever medical reason and no cost to the family. So any donations you can give would be amazing. If you have long enough hair, I'd recommend donating it because I'm going to do that at the end of the stream. I'm going to cut my hair, send it off. I've been growing my hair out for like seven years, so all of this is going to go into a kid who needs it. Keep their head warm. So, whatever you can do. How are you doing, Viv? How has your Saturday been? Thank you. I've been planning it for quite a while. It's like, I wanted to grow my hair out and I'm just like, I'm getting kind of tired of it long. And I'm like, well, why would I just throw it in the trash when there's people who could use it? Slept in, that sounds nice. Yeah, I, I had to get up early to be able to start this at nine. So I've been going almost five hours, I think. Quite a while. Um, yeah, just over five hours now. All right, I'm trying Mr. Vile again. Here. I, I just beat Gobi's Valley. I'm actually looping back because I needed the speed shoes to be able to beat Vile. So I'm not I'm much further than it appears, if you know the game. Penny M where you're at. Nice. Wow. 
Good luck with that the sacrifice. Shall not be in vain. Um, what are we doing? Oh, I need to speed up. Look at him with his little shoes! Oh my god. He's got tiny shoes. I love this alligator so much. I want a plush of him, but it's probably expensive. No, 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 no! Okay. He wins ties, so I did not want that to tie out. Yeah, I would never... I would not recommend that for many reasons. I used to eat a lot more spicy food, but like... I got sick for like a while, and uh... Yeah, my digestion still has not recovered so much, so I've been trying to... Take it easy on my, my stomach. I don't know, it's usually my stomach that'll get more upset than anything, though. Uh... Where's more? Where's more? Give me more. Give me more. Give me more Yumbly. Oh, he's mine. He's mine. Alright, I got a decent enough lead that I'm just gonna save the shoes for right before the next challenge. This is so much easier with the shoes. I usually just do it straight, but I don't know, I was having so much trouble this time. Nah. We're going. All right. Get the shoes. Red first. Yellow. Oh. oh, red. The last thing you want to do. Oh, the last thing you want to do is that. Looking like a fool. Give me, give me a yellow. Give me some yellows. Oh, red. Red, they're mine. Om nom 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 nom. Munch them up, munch them up. I'm gonna switch to yellow in just a second. No, 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 no. It's mine. No. Yeah, that'll do it. Ah, great. Oh, well, good for you. Yeah, I'm white, but. I'm I'm f one of the few white people fortunate enough to be able to handle spicy. Three extra lives. No thanks. B. All right. Thank you, thank you. So yes, that means that I have effectively 100%ed the first six worlds, I think. Let me just double check here. Uh, Grunty's Lair, still need three. 100 that, still need to get the honeycomb there. I can't remember where it is. Um, then we got all that going on. Yep, that's correct, that's correct. Yeah, so I'm just missing that one empty honeycomb they'll swing back for. So next up is Mad Monster Mansion. Let's go unlock it. That hotness got you glowing? Hey, I do my best, you know. It's hard living out here in the world, but I do my best. Nah, I don't know. All right. Now the big question here, uh, well, I know where the the door for the next part is, I'm pretty sure, so just swing back over there. All right, let's keep it moving. New Yorker, no, actually, I'm from uh, Washington State originally. I just default to the New York accent for whatever reason, I don't know, feels comfortable, I like it. 
Um, yeah, I actually, my natural accent is, you know, most of the time it's kind of affected because I'm a voice actor, so I've kind of removed as much accent as I can, but I tend to have more uh, southernisms, really, than anything. Like, I have a pretty rural accent, naturally. But, uh, not that you could tell. If I've done my work right. No New Yorkers on Twitch? Uh, that's a good question. I can think of a couple. Um, there's Wolfsden. Wolfden is pretty cool. It's W-U-L-F-F-Den. You might have seen my voice acting in something? That'd be cool. I do mostly commercials, but, uh, I'm trying to do more character stuff. The thing is, I, I just want to make some of my own stuff to give me a reason to put characters in, because pretty much anybody who, like, ends up voice acting from online, um, it, it's because they did their own stuff separately and that got them enough popularity that people were like, hey, you'd be in this actual thing. Which commercials? Uh, I mean, it's been a lot of hiring ads on, like, local radio, and, um, I do a lot of Live Nation ads for, like, concerts. So, you might have heard some of those. Uh, a lot of them will go up on Spotify, so. You might have heard me in a Spotify ad or two. I've done- I do a lot. Like, around 50 a week, at least. So. I'd like to be in an animated show. I've done some, um, done some character stuff, you know, uh, a lot of student films and things. Just, it's, it's much harder to get into because the auditions are so saturated and it's, doing an audition is really difficult, really. Uh, like, the way that you do it online, you have to, like, make separate files, or you have to, like, fill everything out, and it's it's so much work to do all those auditions, and most of the time it's for stuff that doesn't even pay, and it's like, ugh, should I really be spending my time on this? So, I, my main thing is just, like, saving it for things I really like. Uh, no. I wish it was, like, I wish it was, like, a few hundred K a week. No, unfortunately, um, it's all, like, non-union stuff, so it's, it doesn't pay crazy well. So, I get a lot of quantities, so I'm doing alright, but, um, yeah, yeah, unfortunately. It's not paying very well. I'd like to join the union, because that's where all the animated stuff is, but, you know. You kind of got to be in a union market to do that, and I am not... And I don't really want to move to L.A. because the weather is... I'm not into the weather. I don't like it. And, uh... Yeah, just... Oh, a lot of different stuff. I guess New York. New York does seem cool. I have, The few times I've visited, I've been like, I'd love to live here. Voice acting is on a sliding scale, basically. Um, So, for... Uh, most of the ads that I do that are like 30 seconds ish, I can get paid like, you know, a dozen dollars to up to hundreds of dollars. Yeah, it's it changes. Union stuff you usually get paid like thousands for gigs, which is, you know, why I'd love to join the union, but you know, that and like health insurance and a pension, all the all that good stuff. But uh yeah really depends on the project, depends on the budget, depends on the market. There's like a million different factors that'll change it, but, uh, unfortunately, I'm only really getting work on, like, smaller platforms that don't pay super well. So, yeah, I want to spend more time just working on my own stuff in the hopes that I will eventually be able to get some of the stuff that does pay a lot more. Give it to me. Give it to me, you. There we go. <laughs> Mad Monster Mansion. Mad Monster Mansion is aesthetically very cute, but um, not really my favorite. I think 
Yeah, Click Clock Woods is probably my favorite just for like how ambitious it is. Yeah, that guy was probably, um, that guy was probably Union then, or, you know, whatever. Like, there are cheaper places you can get voiceover, but it's, you get what you pay for. Like, that's my big thing, is like, I'm, I'm too lazy to find the better work, because I'm definitely a, a decent enough actor at this point, with enough experience that I could get much higher paying work, it's just, I would have to actually, like, you know, reach out to people and market myself more, and that's... That's a lot more work, and it's already so much work just doing what I do right now, so... You know. But yeah, yeah, it, it really, it like, it varies wildly by talent, you know. Any entertainment stuff. Hey, thanks. I wish. I really do. <laughs> sing. I, I... I can sing okay. Um, I should definitely get see like a coach about about uh, singing, cause like I'm just not trained enough to do much. But I'll I'll sing for fun at least. What? Let me sit up straight. Um, I've been kazooing throughout the stream, cause it's banjo kazooie. So I got the. I actually have like three kazoos here. That's just the one I grabbed. Um, yeah, one of the donation rewards is for a kazoo song request. So, anybody who wants to donate for that, yeah, check it out. But yeah, I... True. Whoops! That doesn't count. That doesn't count. I was distracted. That one does not count. I forgot where I was at. I was looking at chat. We're not counting that one. Oh my god, I forgot about this area entirely. So, yeah, we're not counting that death because that was... That, that, that was not, no, 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 I'm not counting that one. We're, we're keeping it to two deaths. Mm, I don't know the second person, but, uh, Timothy Chalamet looks attractive enough. He is definitely, like, very scrawny. He's got a, he's got a good face. But, um, I'm, I'm not into how scrawny Timothy Chalamet is. Yeah, I mean, Ryan Reynolds is, is pretty, pretty good looking. He's in great shape. I mean, even since Van Wilder, you know, he's had that going for him. I ain't straight, but Ryan Reynolds is kind of cute, though. Uh, I think it's also like a personality thing for a lot of people. He's funny. I am pansexual, actually. Which basically means that gender doesn't really come into the equation. If I like a person, I like a person. It doesn't really matter to me, you know, what, what they got going on physically. Uh, da -da -da -da. Can I get through here? Can I get through here? Whoa! Can I? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I never heard that one before. You're breaking new ground. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> It's not even it's not even like offensive or anything. It's literally just so such an overused joke that 
<laughs> yeah, that's just, that's a real groaner. Okay, we're gonna get these music notes at least. Pretty sure I gotta drop in from above to get the, uh, to get that. Yeah, you gotta drop in through the chimney. I mean, it's it's nuanced, you know. It's like it it's really a person to person thing. What offends them? Like I'm not very picky, but at the same time, it's also like ignorance can come into play. Where while you might not think that what you're saying is something hateful, it could be rooted in something hateful that you know comes from like centuries of hatred and stuff, and if you don't know that, it's unfortunate, but, you know, you know, I can't necessarily blame you if you don't know, but also, you can't necessarily blame them for being hurt, because that's still where it's coming from, so, it's just important to educate yourself, as always, you know, you gotta find that overstanding. It's always, it's always a, a work in progress. All of us. There's so much to learn out there, so much to do. Uh, so much to know. Friends to grow. Reading Rainbow. Let me in. Oh, I can't actually get him. No thanks. No thanks. 188 and a half, eh? Yeah. Just, yeah, con try and educate yourself and don't take it personal when people get upset because, like, in reality, it's probably due to something that you just didn't know about and it's a learning experience, you know? Getting mad at someone for being upset is just like a losing game for everybody. <laughs> like, all it does is double the upset rather than try and try and improve the world. All right. Yeah, this level gives me a lot of trouble because it's kind of all over the place. Yeah. And also stuff like that. Minecraft and K-pop and Minecraft PFP. What? Yeah. I, well, okay, fandoms in general, like, <laughs> I've been in several fandoms and I can tell you it's also a losing proposition to spend too much of your time in any one fandom, because, wow, they get pretty insular. In fact, the only fandom I've really come across that I find is totally cool is uh, the board gaming fandom, like, even within specific games, like, Everybody's super chill, you know, we got people of all ages from like kids to like older folks And everybody just wants to play the games. Everybody just wants to play a little board game What's wrong with that? Oh, why not? Ah, there it is. Oh, I've been all over Twitter Thanks I appreciate, I appreciate your support. Oh, let me in, let me in. I gotta come back as punk. Whoa. Um, yeah, D&D. D&D, there are toxic people who play D&D, but it's pretty easy to avoid. I like tabletop RPGs in general. D&D as far as like, 
Fine. I like 5th edition. There is no way to enter my home, for I am in a liminal space that cannot be perceived by the human mind. You think, you think there's something outside that door? Nah, it's the void. The empty void. Okay, Viv, okay. Candyland with Bean Boozle rules. What, uh... How would that work, though? Like, when do you take the Bean Boozle? There's not really... Does everybody who loses do it? Because, like, Candyland doesn't really... Doesn't really have, like, things you lose, like a poker game. Oh, I'm in the toilet. No. To fight. But thanks for coming in, CJ Jammies. Um... Yeah, Bean Boozled is another losing proposition. Ooh, okay. Uh, take a bean after every turn. Oh no. Oh my god, yeah. I. The only time I did Bean Boozled, it was also a drinking game where if you got the nasty bean, because we used the spinner, uh, if you got a nasty bean, you had to take a shot of moonshine. It was my first time drinking moonshine. So I ended up doing like... 14 shots, I was so drunk. It was like scary. And at the end of it, I just grabbed a handful and just went for it and it was uh Yeah, it was disgusting. Yeah, moonshine. Have you not had moonshine? I hadn't at the time either. Well, I know that now. Yeah, I don't do definitely don't do it anymore. I mean, if you get, like, proper liquor store moonshine that's being mass-produced, it's not going to have any nastiness in it. Uh, not necessarily. But yeah, no. Moonshine, it's just, like, it's too hard. There's no reason to drink such hard liquor, you know? I'd rather just go for like a some rum. What what boozes you like in chat? Uh no, what I'm talking about there's like uh Kentucky old fashioned moonshine. It's like a literal like mass produced brand. Like it is it's specifically it's called Moonshine. It is made to the specifications, but it's made safely, you know? Oof. I hope that worked out for you, big Disney fan. Uh, yeah, I did the Mr. Vile. Got that done, so we're on to Mad Monster Mansion. I'm having a lot of trouble on this roof. We got Viv in the chat. We got CJ Jammies. Everybody's hanging out. We're talking about alcohol. What What is everybody's favorite alcohol in chat? I'm, I'm partial to rum, usually like a Blanco rum. Although I haven't been doing alcohol in a bit. I had some like, uh, I was having some medical stuff so I didn't want to stress out my system any more than it had to. Don't listen to Viv. Daiquiri. Yeah, yeah, I usually just do a daiquiri. What I've been doing because I've been trying to avoid alcohol is, um, I've just basically been doing limeade, so just a daiquiri with no rum. And it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not, it's not quite the same, but it's, it's tasty enough. <coughs> Ooh, whiskey and scotch. I never really... I... I never really liked the flavor of whiskey. It's got, like, that, that kind of corn to it that's just not super pleasant to me. I don't know. Um, whoa. Now we gotta get across. Quiet, like... 
Got it. It's mine. What is in a Jaeger bomb? Because I've had Jaeger just on its own. And it's, it's pretty tasty. I like it. But what's in a Jaeger bomb? Bird up. Bird up. Oh, oh, is that what that's here for? Woo. That render of Mumbo is spooky. I mean, it's just, if it's just that, then I don't really care. Let me in. Let me in. I don't need the extra life. I'm, I've been at nine, like, this whole time. Jaeger and Red Bull. Woof, yeah, that'll get you. That'll get you going. Any... Any caffeinated stuff with alcohol. That's rough. That's very rough. Pointless flight pad. I know, yeah. The, like, one-ups are useful, especially because I'm doubling my... Because, uh, for the donations, I'm... I'm started out at a dollar for every hour it takes me, and I'm doubling it every time I die, so now I'm at four dollars for every hour it takes me, so at least 32 bucks, probably more. And that's assuming I don't die at all again, which is probably not gonna be the case. Uh, but, to remind everybody, we're raising money for wigs for kids. I'll be donating my hair at the end of the stream, so get ready for that, that'll be super fun. And if you go to the link on the screen, you can, um, or, let me actually put it in chat, this link here you can donate to wigs for kids they need any monetary donations they can they give wigs to children and teens who have lost their hair due to accidents or medical stuff or whatever and uh, they don't charge the families a cent so they need whatever money you can give them to keep running it oh yeah yeah this one is a little frustrating because there's just so many areas There's so many areas, most of it is, like, literally a maze. Come on, say it. Say thank you. Say it. Come on now. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. Whoops. Get him. Yep. There it is. Ah, but yeah, donate if y'all can. If you can't, just keep watching, you know? Spread the word. Any Discord servers you know or something, let them know that, let them know that we're doing it. I'd appreciate it. We got different goals set up. We got different rewards set up. You can find it all on the Tiltify page. Come on. That's the button. Ah. Oh. It's tricky because I'm playing it on the Switch, so it's not the, um, it's not the original button layout that I'm used to. Come on, do it. Drop a deuce in the flower pot, please. How specific do you need me to be? Oh my goodness. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Oh, man. That one's so annoying. Really? Why? What, what are they the company of? Like, I don't understand. He's not like a businessman or anything. So it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, why would you have him speak at a company event? Thank you. Like, politics aside, it should not be hard for most people to recognize that that guy, Ben Shapiro, was an idiot. He doesn't back up most of his stuff with any, like, actual, like, points. And the evidence he uses is mostly hypothetical. All he does is talk really fast in the hopes that no one will question him. And he, he has witty little quips that he does. And it's like, okay, 
You're not really proving your point. Like, I'd be as annoyed with someone who does, um, who does have similar politics to me doing that stuff. Oh, they were sponsoring. They were sponsoring an event and they got, okay. Seems like a waste of money, frankly. That's all right. Can I get in here? Yeah, secret. Secret window. Whoops. Whoops. Well, that's not what I meant to do, but that worked out. Secret window. Secret window. In the church. Secret window. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Yeah, I just... I don't know, man. That sounds like a total waste of everybody's time. It's like, I like Hasanabe, but I also would not have him work at a... I wouldn't hire him to do a business talk because it's just not what he does. And any input he has would not be, like, appropriate. Eh. Yeah. A panel event. Okay. What? Wait, what kind of company is it? Is it, is like the company related in any way or is it just they did it because they believed in the event? Let me up. Yeah, this is also why this particular level takes so long, because there's all these gat dang rooftops. Ah! Keep falling. Uh, yeah, this is the one that gave me the most trouble last time I played this, too. Let's take it. Slow. Yeah, fair. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty silly. Thanks for sharing. Uh, 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 uh. Ikum bokum. Uh, 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 careful, don't fall, don't fall. Uh, uh, uh. Don't fall. Ah! All right. Oh, come on. <laughs> All I did was duck down and it made me fly off. Silly, silly, silly. There's like a button for that one, I think. Can get in here for the pumpkin. I'm not gonna do the pumpkin yet, but I wanna get any, uh, notes I can get so that I can get my note score maxed out. Got nothing up here this time, Mumbo? Oh, single gold feather, eh? Oh, I don't know, put that in me cap. I know, right? To get him to talk for what, like an hour or something? It's like, dude, so much money, and just nobody, nobody could possibly say anything that would make give that enough value to make that worth anybody's time. So ridiculous. Speaking engagements and stuff like that, I just never understood that, man. They get paid so much, and what do they really give you? It's nowhere near enough to make it, like... Make it anything. Give me the blue. Yeah. That, I mean... I... It, Okay, but at least there, 
like, you know, I, I can at least understand, like, they're supporting someone that they believe in and that they like, and it's their money. You know, it's like, yeah, it sounds like a waste to me, but that's, that's its whole own thing, you know? Right? Where are my subs? Give me the subs. No. If you be so kind. Um. No, I can't even withdraw any sub credit yet, frankly. I, I don't think I only have like 30 something dollars and you gotta have a hundred before you can actually withdraw any. So, whatever. I just need to stream more. I don't know, that's the thing, is I don't know if I should stream more as in more times, or I should stream as in I should stream for longer each time. I feel like if I streamed like a couple times a week, but each time I streamed at least four or five hours, that would do way better for me than uh the streaming like four times a week, but only a couple hours each time. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Longer streams? Do but ah, I don't have time. Is the thing. I got work. I got other stuff to make. I'd love to just be able to stream, but it's just like, yeah, no. Until I'm able to start making money off of it, I can't really justify spending that much time. I don't know. It's always the longer streams. Like it'll usually take a few hours before anybody comes on. But I feel like doing the two. Oh, I don't know. I'll see. There was a time where I was doing it like every day. Um, it was like it was exhausting. Can I do any impressions? Uh, kind of. I'm not really an impression person, but I got a couple, couple in the back pocket, a couple of obscure ones. Like one of them is uh, um, I do an all right David Lynch. I do, I can do David Lynch all right. It's a, what, what was the one George Lucas story that like, uh, they had salad and it's not that I don't like salad, but that's all they had there. Um. <laughs> thanks. That's a fair point. Yeah, with the frequency. Um. I don't know. I feel like I should try and at least do like three hours. Maybe. Yeah. Something like that. I mostly end up doing racing games lately and then like a marathon every month. And then my marathons always do the best. Probably because people have the most time to drop in and out. Ah, gee, thanks. Ah, here we go. Mozart plays his organ with ease, but can you follow him on the keys? What we got? Dong. 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 I mean, hey. I d Man, I miss Robin Williams. Whoops, was that the wrong one? Ugh. Okay, let's try it again. All right, what have you got? That's also all of the jiggies in these later levels take longer for the most part. Like this, this is a much longer sequence than most of the stuff from Mumbo's Mountain. Oh, I missed that. Okay. Because I looked at chat. Oh, did they just straight up remove a poo? Because I heard that they they recast Doctor Hibbard with a uh, um with uh, Kevin Michael Richardson, who's a voice actor I really love. So I'm totally cool with that. But uh, yeah, I mean it's a complicated issue. And really, I'm not even one to speak on it because it's not my experience or anything. 
but uh, my general rule with voice acting, the, the general thoughts I have is if they cast a white person as a person of a different race, A, that's taking work away from, from them, and the, the big thing that goes ignored is like, is the reason they cast a white person because they're more comfortable working with white people? Because that, I feel like, is way more damning than just the fact that, you know, that's who they, that that's just a coincidence or anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, if you didn't have a problem with them, like, cool. And like, I didn't personally have a problem. Like, I thought, you know, there were, I could certainly understand all the problematic aspects of it and like, the origin of it not being great, and I'm pretty sure even Hank Azaria was not super happy with it towards the end either. Um, and I liked Apu as a character, like, as a kid when I used to watch The Simpsons, but... That was forever ago, like, I don't think most people watch The Simpsons anymore. Yeah, that's the thing I notice, is most of the sites I'm on, if it... If they're looking specifically for a non-white, like, actor... They just, just can't find them. Like, the, it, the, those roles will just go untaken for, like, so long. And it's... It's really illuminating. There's, like, a flight pad or something here, right? Because I gotta... I know you can get up in the rafters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. And I, I also don't think that's necessarily true. Like, there aren't as many in the Union, necessarily, but, like, that doesn't mean they aren't out there, and they wouldn't love to have the work. It's just the work is not there for them, because they're not making as many roles that are for non-white characters, and because they end up going to white people. Or if they don't go to white people, they're all... You know, it's only in LA, and it's not as much work. Uh, one Singular Union, yes. Yeah, it is SAG-AFTRA. Um, yeah, it used to be SAG was just on-screen actors, and AFTRA was, uh, voice actors. Like, f it was film and television, and r film, television, and radio, basically. So that was a voice acting union, and they merged, um, a, a few years ago, like quite a while ago now, actually, I think. Um, and yeah, it's like you can get union work technically from anywhere, but most of the union auditions are being held in LA or New York. Uh, maybe Chicago. Um, yeah. Vancouver is like a different union. But, yeah, Vancouver, B.C. has a lot of animated work, too. Dallas is where they do a lot of the anime dubs. Or, no, not Dallas. Houston? No, maybe it is Dallas. I don't know, because I'm not interested in doing anime dubs. They're hard. They're hard, and I don't think they sound very good. So, not really my thing. No, voice act. I mean, okay. It's, it's more niche than a lot of acting, but... Um, yeah, no, it's grown hugely in popularity. A ton of people want to do it. A ton of on-screen actors want to do it more because it's like, it still pays well and they see it as easier. It's actually way more difficult in a lot of ways. Okay, we're gonna, yeah, get you there. Really annoying, I hate these ghosts. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like, Yeah, there, there are, at least in LA, like, you know, probably half a million voice actors, and there's only probably around half, or like 50,000 roles available at any time. Not even 50,000, like 500, maybe. And so it's like, what are you gonna do? Ah, hey, you found the emote, sweet. Yeah, use those all you want. I had them as, like, subscriber only, but then I didn't have any subscribers, so I was like, I'd rather they get used than anything. 
Uh, yeah, considering the overlap between on screen and others, you know. In LA? I mean, yeah, but a lot of people in LA are actors, so like, considering that a lot of uh, on screen actors or theater actors will also have like voice acting as a sub thing, like, they still count. That doesn't sound that unbelievable to me. People want to be voice actors, like, pretty much anybody who knows it as a profession, like, one in two people who know of it as a profession will wish they could do it, because it's, you know, again, it seems like a cushy job. It's not, it's very difficult. It's a lot of marketing. Um, and a lot of stuff. I don't know, I, that is an exaggerated number, I guess, and that is from quite a while ago, so I could be wrong on that, but generally, there's just, yeah, there are way more actors than you be than you'd believe, clearly, because you're not believing me. You don't believe me, do you? In my hour of need. I need your strength and your cunning. Skadoosh. There we go. Yeah, I didn't say they were successful. That was my point, is that there are a ton of people who are trying to be voice actors, but most of them have side jobs. Like, 99% have a side job of some kind and are uh, not able to do it full time. Like, it's unfortunate, but that's just, you know, that's the reality. Like, I'm pretty fortunate to be able to work full-time as a voice actor, but that's only... I'm only able to do that because um, I, ha I don't have very many bills. Ugh, I have more than usual right now. Medical bills. Hooray! I love my country, where I have to pay somebody 130 bucks a month for health insurance, and then I still have to pay more on top of that to actually get any health care. <laughs> Whatever. How am I supposed to get back down? How do I return to the ground? I suppose go over here. Seems like it'd be fatal if I just fell from here. I just gotta... Oof. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yes, I did knock the gate open in the outside world. I'm on top of that, for sure. Uh, favorite Disney movie? Hmm. I don't want to sound too basic by saying, like, it's... <laughs> Encanto, because that one's so recent. But Encanto's pretty high up there. I do like that one a lot. Uh, I like the ones that have the Sherman Brothers. Um, hmm. You know? Great Mouse Detective, I think. I think Great Mouse Detective. That's the one I remember growing up with. Fox and the Hound was the one I went all the time. Ooh, Hunchback and Notre Dame 2. I also, I do really like Hunchback. I know a lot of people hate it, and it, it has a lot of problems, for sure, but I really like that one. And I don't even like Steven Schwartz, who did the music. Like, I hate Wicked. Well, I don't hate Wicked, I just find it boring. But yeah, like, um, yeah, I, I like that one a lot. I don't know. The sequel attempts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, exactly. They give him like a, like a, uh, 
cute, like, Manic Pixie Dream Girl girlfriend or whatever, or, like, she's clumsy. And they have, like, the whole thing where, like, oh, this bell's beautiful on the inside, because that's not how bells work. What? What? You're not a Disney guy? What's the truth, the big Disney fan? Is, are you just something of a Disney fan? And you are large in stature? Is that it? Whoa, gotta watch out. Gotta watch out for this guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, where's the N? Where's the N? Where's the N? Ooh, ooh, that's the A. N. J was over here. Wait, oh, uh oh. Show. Uh. Uh. Kazoo. There we go. Is there an A over here? What was this one? That's an A. Z was over here. Ah! Crap! Double crap! Oh god, let me back on! Let me back on! There's one more O over here. Oh, geez, we're gonna cut it real close. Ah! No! No! Ah, dip. Oh, no, was that a death? Oh, no! All right. Or no, it's not a death because my health is still there. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay, I see, I see. Is it coming home? Is football coming home? Not a death. Okay, whew. good. Because, yeah, that would have doubled my stuff. Alright, we gotta get some health. Don't mess around. Yeah. Okay. I think there's another one in the graveyard. Um, Toy Story movies. Yeah, I feel like they... <clears throat> I kind of feel like they should have stopped at two, honestly. Like, I liked three when I saw it because I was literally at the exact same age of Andy and I was like, yeah, I feel that, but uh, no. Nah, no, nah, it's actually, it's honestly, it's just like a copy of, of two. Like, they didn't do anything new with it. And that's like, like, what's the point? You know? It seemed like just a waste. And four was like... Yeah, four is like... <clears throat> a total mess. It's a real downer. I think that's the thing, is that... Like, with... Four and with um, Monsters University, it's like they just start getting too depressing with their messages, you know? It's like, sure, those are important things in life to understand, but it's like, wow, dude. Someone is super depressed at Pixar. Nope. Got focus this time. I messed it up. Don't want to do it again. Uh. Ah! No! I thought it was far enough away. Just get it, get it, get it. Yeah! There we go. Yeah, that's my big problem, honestly, is that Pixar, like, I, honestly, I did not like Luca, and I was pretty mad on Soul. Turning Red was pretty good. I liked Turning Red. 
But yeah, the last few really, really not, not doing their A game. Yeah, two was great. Three, I mean, the whole incinerator thing, it's like, it's a, oh, it's like very heartbreaking in concept, but it's just so manipulative, right? Like, they didn't have to go that hard. <laughs> Dead. I killed him. What you gonna do about it, man? I don't wanna waste any gold feathers because I need them for the ghosts. Yeah, look at this. Literal maze. Like, it's fine, I suppose, but it's also, like, it's just kind of tedious, because it's not, like, a very complicated maze. Yeah, I liked Encanto, and Coco was pretty good. Um... Oh yeah, Gilbert Godfrey did die recently. Rest in peace. That's my best Gilbert. I hope you liked it. I probably blew the mic out real hard. Um, yeah, and Robin Williams quite a while ago. Like, man, that one really hit me hard. Like, I love Gilbert, uh, but like Robin was just so inspiring to me as like a a, a performer in general and someone who loves comedy and just who yeah there's a guy um oh yeah you didn't hear about it viv yeah gilbert godfrey died like last week it was really unfortunate he'd been i guess he'd been sick for a while and they uh yeah his family just didn't really talk about it but they announced on his twitter that he had he had passed so rest in peace gilbert that's more, that's more of like an Al Chelson for a Grandpa Monster. You did it, Bob. You locked us in the bank vault. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, that's real unfortunate, man. Um, all right, so now I think, how many jiggies do I have? Six, I think. No, there's like a, a fountain somewhere, right? It's like a fountain you can jump to. And there's a bunch of stuff over there, right? So, where is that? Hmm. I think over there, maybe? Woof. Yeah, this... How long have I been spending on this particular level? 44 minutes already. I'm only a little over halfway done with it. Yeesh. Whoops. How can I not bust through this way? Can I jump over? Hey, get out of here, dude. That's my least favorite type of enemy. The kind that just keep getting back up and annoying you. Well, no, actually, my least favorite is any enemy that you can only hit from, like, the back. I hate that. That's the most annoying enemy type to me. And I understand why they always put them in games, but, like... Stop. Stop it, I hate him. I'm gonna... That's all over Kingdom Hearts, and I'm gonna get around to those eventually. Gotta stream them some point. Oh, well, that's not a super helpful camera. Uh-oh. 
Right, there we go. Oh, I didn't know he was on Are You Afraid of the Dark? That is cool. And yeah, the way he said, you fool. You fool! He, he just put everything into it. It's wild, too, because that's not how he actually talked. He had a podcast for a while um, where you can hear his, like, normal speaking voice, and it's, it's like, bizarre. It sounds so weird to just hear him sounding like a regular, regular dude. I just want to be careful not to take too much damage here. Do, 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 do. All right, we need to get some air, so let's hop back up. Bucket to get the jiggy, and I think I missed a note over here. Whoops, a little higher up. Perspective here is a little weird. All right, and up, and up. Oh, yeah, it would be easier with the pumpkin. Well, I almost have it finished now, anyways, so may as well. like surgery. Okay, okay, I'm up. I'm up. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, there we go. All right. It's not like Mario where you get healed up when you come out of water. Ah, uh, unfortunate, but you know what? It'll be okay. There's an eco Pokemon over there, but I don't actually need it for the 100%. So I will ignore it. Oh, I hear bees. Bees mean health. Generally. Oh, wait, this whole back way. I didn't even realize. Ah? Uh, no. Ah, oh, dip. I think there's a bat over here that I can take out. No, nope. guess not. I got, I got that one. Ooh, I'm very low on health. Is that back there? No. Okay, I think. I think I just have pumpkin stuff to do now. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure. Hey! Thanks for the raid, child of Ragnarok. Raid of Ragnarok. Raid! Hey, everybody. We are actually uh, raising money for Wigs for Kids today. And I'm going to cut my hair at the end of the stream to donate to Wigs for Kids. They're a nonprofit that provides wigs to children and teenagers that have lost their hair due to medical reasons or accidents or whatever, so, um, you know, you can go to that link, donate whatever you can, donate your hair if it's long enough, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be donating based on how long the game actually takes me to beat, so, um, yeah, the gameplay is going pretty good. Mad Monster Mansion's giving me a lot of trouble, 
but I'm still, I think, gonna be able to beat the game in nine hours, I think? Fingers crossed. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Could take as long as 12, but I don't expect it to go that far. Um, now, how do I get on the house? I remember there's a way up over here, I think? Thank you, yeah. it's. I mean, that's the thing, is I was like, I'm gonna donate my hair anyways, because I've been growing it out for seven years, I wanted to cut it, and I didn't want to just throw it in the garbage, because, like, somebody could use that, you know? So, uh, I... Yeah, I figured I'll do a charity stream as well, because now Banjo-Kazooie's on the Switch, so I can enjoy some Banjo-Kazooie, raise up some funds, and I got some good rewards going on and everything, so... Y'all can check that out. I got a kazoo doing kazoo song requests at $25. We got Prince. Um, we got, uh, what else? What else do we got? We got uh, different goals. You know, I'll do a Banjo-Kazooie music medley for YouTube at $1,000. If it gets if it gets as high as 20000 I will get a tattoo of Banjo-Kazooie. Hey, thanks for the follow, Child of Ragnarok. Uh, hmm. That's weird. My alerts are making a noise. But they're not showing up. I'll have to figure that out another time. But yeah, there was an, a noise for the alert, but no animation. Hmm. Weird, but thank you very much for following. I appreciate it a great deal. I am doing my best to make a fun stream for everybody. <clears throat> I had just updated my layout, too. So this whole, like, wacky, like, arcade carpet print, uh, that's, that's new. I've only, this is the second stream that I've had that set up for. <clears throat> Excuse me. Water. Ah, give it to me. Give it to me. Big jump. Nah, won't let it happen. <clears throat> all right, all right. Uh, toilet over here? I think the toilet's over here. No, this isn't where the toilet's at. The toilet's on the second floor, I think. Oh, a hole. Okay. I remembered that there's like a... Yeah, that there's like a slope in the maze, but I couldn't remember how how to get there. Thank you for the tip. Is it, where is it at? There it is. Yeah, it's really tucked away. Whoop. Get that mumbo token. Get that mumbo token. Nice. Then we're gonna gentle, gentle. What? Nah, dip. Ah, uh, I gotta get back up. Yeah, the pumpkin's only real advantage is looking cute, which he does, and being small, which he is. But otherwise, not a super useful um, transformation. Although I think the least useful is honestly the bee. As much as I love it, the bee has so few actual uses in the game. Like, there's not really that much you can do with them. Hey, There we go. Oh, well, may as well grab those. Waste not, want not. And then where's the turlet? Where's the turlet? Uh, oh, and there's the pipe to get in there. Sucked down. There we go. Two more. My health is pretty low, but hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Hey, Welsius, thank you for the donation to Wigs for Kids. You are actually the first donation. Uh, it's not been a great donation drive, but you know what? They're going to get some hair, and I'm going to donate. Um, I'm donating. I started at a dollar, and every time I die, I double it. 
and it's per hour that it takes me. So I'm gonna be, at this point, I've died twice, so I'm gonna be donating $4 per hour. I will probably die at least once in Rusty Bucket Bay. So we're probably gonna end up with, uh, yeah, they're gonna end up with quite a bit from that at the very least. But thank you. Hey, thank you for the luck with the fundraiser. I really, really appreciate it. However you can help, you know, the raid certainly helps. Spreading the word any way you can would be just as helpful, you know? If you guys are in any Discord servers that don't mind promotion, you know, let them know. Happy landings, little one. Flushed away. You going in cellar. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah, I did go in the cellar, so. Ah. Munching. And thanks for the follow, Welsius. Yeah, I think you guys can hear it, right? You hear the tone when it... When the alert goes off, but it's not showing anything on the image. Weird. Hmm. I'll have to fix that later. Oh well. Alright. Uh, what about through here? Anything in here? Oh no, I went in here. Um, there's the chimney. I think that might be something. Can I get on the chimney, though? I don't think I can as Pumpkin. Hmm. Hold on, let me think. I did the church. I did the church, I did the well. I did the, uh, cup. I did the toilet. I did the barrel. Did the sneaky, did the Mozart. Um. Did the pots. What am I missing? Huh. Yep. Jiggies. Yes, the little jigsaw pieces that you collect. I've got an I've got a 9. I don't know which one I'm missing. I did the ghost in the house. I did the cellar. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure. Let me see if I can Oh, wait, I think that's what it is. Where's the yellow Jinjo at? Hmm. Where is the yellow Jinjo? I haven't seen him anywhere. Um, oof. I still need 13 notes. Huh. I think I might need to be Baron Bird again, at least for a minute. Wait a minute. What's, what's this pipe? Hold on a second. I haven't been down that pipe. Or can I go down that pipe? I'm not certain. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah, I'm just missing the yellow Jinjo. Where is he at? Can't go down that pipe. No, 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 no. Is it on the maze? Is that where he's at? Oh, 
Uh, uh oh. Oh, what? Hmm. Yeah, I think I gotta do something as Banjo and Kazooie still. But what? What could it be? Hmm. I feel like if there is that much... Like, if I'm missing a Jinjo and 13 notes, that tells me that there's like a whole area I haven't been. Is there like a window on here I can break? There's a Banjo-Kazooie window that I can go through. I think I already got everything from there. Just being careful. Pretty sure I got these guys already. I must have missed uh, something on the main house. Right? Feels like that's the only place I haven't been. It's gotta be like a window or something I missed. Whoops. Oh, you know what? There's the like big windows on the side. I didn't even go in. I just busted them open. Je suis Bubu le Fool. Je suis Bubu le Fool in the rap game. Oui? Oui. Uh, come on, come on. Blech. That's probably why I didn't do it before. Remember, it was a pain just getting it broken. Well, let's try not to do it straight from here. What? Uh, getting on these gutters. It's tricky, it's tricky. There we go. Yeah, this whole area. Whoops. I wanna be careful. Yeah. Right, I'm in the bedroom. He's up there. Okay. Yeah, it was this whole region that I didn't even do at all. Whoops. Yep. Thank we. Thank we. Thank you. Just say. Oh. Lovely. And then this on the other side will probably have the other nine. There we go. Ah. All right. Yeah, now I need to make my way over to the other, whoops, to the other side, where there's another window, and I believe that will be the one that will have the last of the notes. Will you please get over? Banjo, sir, sir, are you drunk again? It's the third time this week. Nope, nope. Oh, Okay. Yeah, this is where they are. And I can farm these guys for health. And there's the last note. All right. Let's see. Yes, 100%. It took a little over an hour, but that one is one of the more convoluted ones. So I think we're good. And 
one of the more difficult jiggies on the next one. I have a sneaky little speedrun strat that'll get us through. So just wait for that. If it works on this version, I haven't. Oh, I'm hoping they didn't patch it out because I really, really have trouble with that particular jiggy otherwise. But yeah, I might rack up some deaths on that one. And we're gonna turn back so I can get in the, uh, the shed outside. Well, let's go. Where am I at? I'm lost in the tall grass, help. Okay. <laughs> he do boing 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 though. Wow. Uh oh. No, no, please. I am just little pumpkin. Please, sir. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go away. Go away. That was brutal! Why, what? Ah. No, no, back off. Back off. Let's get some egg. Oh, hello, Mumbo. Get this ghost. Get him. Get him. Grunty's plan is rather cunning. When I'm thin, guys will come running. Oh, that's pretty impressive. But have you considered... Oh, no. Yeah, that's my fault. All right. Everything's shaping up. Do these have secrets? They do not. Can I just, like, bust my way out? Nope. Well, whatever. All right. I'm a pumpkin again. I finished Mad Monster Mansion. Ow. My bow, no. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a break. I gotta get some more water, stretch my legs. It's been a bit. But, uh, I recommend y'all do the same. Get yourself hydrated. Get a snack. Stretch your legs. And, uh, donate to Wigs for Kids if you can. Here's the donate link again. But I will be our back in just a minute with more Banjo Kazooie. See you then.